Hi everybody. Wish me luck, okay? It's baby challenge time. And I'm gonna need it. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. We're going to game. Let me get this Sims 2 soundtrack turned down a little bit because a person can only handle so much of that. Anyway, hi, happy Friday. <laughs> How are you all doing today? Good, I hope. I was gonna say I'm excited to stream, but I'm not. <laughs> if we're doing this today, not excited. <laughs> Every time I play this save, it takes me like a good hour to like um, get a handle on things again, I think. It, it takes me a second to like accept that this is happening to me and like <laughs> catch myself back up, you know? <laughs> the baby challenge is scary. <laughs> but anyway, hi, welcome back. Sims, yes, we're playing Sims today, very exciting. Also, Dragon, and, and Key Lime, and Empress, and Feo, and Therese, and Kemic, and Morgan, uh, Casserole, Arv, and Crunkles, and Snowy, and EK, and Cheese Puff. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Ready for the drama? Ooh. Baby challenge sure is drama, actually. We have... Okay, so let's, let's discuss. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Let's discuss the situation. Um, we have had 32 babies. My Sim is pregnant with our 33rd baby. Uh, we'll give birth in a couple days, second trimester in 16 hours. We just had this baby, Toe. Um, so we have to age Toe up into an infant and, and sort of get a handle on things. How many Sims have I killed? Well, I killed all of the baby daddies. Um, so, quite a few, actually. Um, yeah, it's kind of a long list of sims so <laughs> toe i don't name them you name them let me show you so <laughs> to catch you back up to speed in case you had forgotten i don't name these children uh during my charity fundraiser for saint jude last month um i allowed people oh, sorry i allowed people the opportunity to donate to suggest a baby name um, and so we have a very long list, a very, very, very long list, like an unbelievably long list of name suggestions. Um, there's a wide variety of names on this list, uh, sort of ranging from things like pancake, nail polish, um, to Bosco after their cat or, you know, after people they know and love and, and things. So there's a very interesting selection of names on this list. And yeah, one of them is Toe, which is why... I have a child named Toe now, so. <laughs> um, you want access to the doc? Yeah, I have it posted in the chat. Um, I had it private for a while, but then I uh, made sure it was ready to be shared so we can have it shared now with people. Um, but anyway, there's there's a very long list of names and very interesting list of names uh, that I did not choose. We randomized names off the list. So when I have the baby, um, we'll, we'll like use a random number generator and decide what the baby will be called based on that, so. That's how it works. <laughs> um, very, very interesting. <laughs> you're late, what has happened so far? Caroline, you're, I've been live for three minutes. You didn't miss anything, I promise. I just got here. <laughs> it's okay, I just got here. Also, Sarah and Eden and Seth and Spooky, Emily, Jenna, Rosie, Paulina, Nicole, Laurel, Katie, Kizzy, uh, Tysa and CK and Kyla and Kitty and Starlight and, and Super Lou Cooper. Nope, Super L Cooper, sorry. Sterling, <laughs> Spreef and Maddie and Aloha and Purple and Rach and Rosina. Um, who else? DJ, Angel, Ab, Scam, uh, Kamasha, Lim Liminal, Honey, Snowy. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, Agua and Lynette as well. Thank you so much. Okay, anyway. We're gonna play again today, but I do feel like maybe the first thing I wanna do today is some slight upgrades to the house before we start playing. Um, because when we last played, <laughs> um, when we last played, I expanded the basement so far that we, um, yeah. So I need to, <laughs> I need to make some adjustments to the basement, I fear. Um, and I think I might expand it, like, the other way. <laughs> because, um, I, yeah. So, <laughs> bear with me, everybody. <laughs> Let me just get the basement fixed again. How far should I... Is that as far as it can go? That should probably be fine for now. I think this will work. I think this will work. Okay, cool. Shelves, maybe? Oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I like having it be, um... 
all on one wall like this also. I, I like it. Um, we don't need to do shelves or anything. Um, I don't want to like double stack them basically. Um, what I do want though is for this plate. Did I move anything by accident and like ruin stuff? I don't think so. Okay. What I do want though is, is to have space to expand. So <laughs> why did some have two graves? Yeah, I can explain that again. Basically we have to have, um, uh, like two graves in some of these places because of glitches. So for example, um, John Lothario, when his baby was born, um, I had the multiplayer mod installed, uh, cause we were going to stream afterward with Fluon and them to play Candyland. And because of that, it totally bugged. Like the game totally broke and she went into labor and never gave birth. Like she was just permanently stuck in labor and there was no baby coming. Um, so I had to like uninstall the mod and then like get her pregnant again. Cause I reset her and like the pregnancy was gone. So I had to, um, uninstall the mod, get her pregnant again. Basically I had already killed Don Lothario though. So I had to bring him back to life and then get her pregnant again and then have the babies again because of the glitch. So then I had to kill him again. Hence to Don Lothario's. <laughs> um, and then something similar happened um, with Hector because he died of old age. Well, no, he died while I was woohooing him trying to get pregnant. So I had to, cause he was old. Um, so he was like overexerted. Uh, so I had to bring him back to life and then get pregnant and then kill him again. So that's why those people had to die twice. Um, him because he actually died, but Don because he uh, glitched. <laughs> so, and then, and then I killed, um, so I, I had babies with, let me get another light. I had babies with old Don first, like the original Don Lothario and then new Don Lothario. So there's actually three Don Lothario graves in here, um, but they're different people. Because <laughs> um, we we had like the pre Caliente update and post Caliente update because they happened at like we had babies with him like that week that the update happened. So um, the different types of graves. This is a vampire grave, and these ones are not real gla graves. They're uh, fake ones from build mode because they glitched and didn't give me a gravestone. So we have like regular regular gravestones, and this is a fake one. It's it's just a uh, like something you can buy in build mode because they were glitched. See, but the other ones are all real, real graves. And then there's also vampire graves. So yeah, glitches happen. That, that causes some issues for us, obviously. <laughs> um, hey, Melancholy and Pan and Orbit and Kat and Mint and Jola and Anxious and Xena and Money and Amy and Syra, Kath, Busy, D, uh, Nick and Nay and Amy and everybody who else. Uh, amazing and Coffee, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, why are those three separated graves? Those are the kids. Um, three of my children died from, two of them died because they were having mood swings as teens. And when they aged up into young adults, still in the mood swing, they died of like anger because they were enraged as a teen from the mood swing and then they became a young adult, died. And one of them got struck by lightning twice in a row. That was traumatic for me, I'm not gonna lie. So <laughs> uh, those, are, those are three of our kids though. Um, but yeah. <laughs> the living room rug is gone. Oh my goodness, it sure is. Did that put it in my inventory? It did. I knew something was gonna go wrong when I was moving stuff around. This is fine. Do not worry, I fix. Um, delete that. How about you? Do I have you already? No, I don't. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> anyway, we've had, uh, so far we've had 32 children um, and we're pregnant with our 33rd at the moment. Um, and for those of you that maybe have never seen a 100 baby challenge stream before, uh, the way that it works is uh, you have to essentially have and age up successfully as many kids as possible, right? And so the rules are um, when you have an infant, we have to get two milestones in each category then they can become a toddler. Then they have to get three level three skills, then they become a child. Then they have to get an A in school, then they become a teen. And then once they get an A in school as a teen, they're a young adult and you can move them out. And then you continue raising as many children as you can. <laughs> um, so that's how it works. Um, basically, we just have to keep having kids. Obviously, you don't have 100 kids in your house at once. The challenge isn't necessarily to like have 100 kids with you. The challenge is to raise 100 kids um, and get them out as fast as you can so you can get pregnant again. Does that make sense? Um, and yeah, we've had 32. So <laughs> toe aged up, infant, wiggly infant. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, I can make this work. I can make this work. Everything's gonna be fine and I'm not stressed at all. <laughs> hey, happy for 
Virginia, Fairy, Stripey, Indy, Castle, Shark, and Brianna, and Nora, and Tails. Thank you for the subs. Oh my. Yeah, having a hundred kids living with you in The Sims would be a, a sort of different kind of challenge, you know? <laughs> very, very different vibes to a challenge like that. Oh, the Grim Reaper is still here because I just killed um, the last baby daddy. Yikes. Okay. Are any of these yours? That one is. Let's have you all come work on these things. How about that? See if we can get a move on. And you, what do you need to do? Um, movement three, communication. Here, do you wanna work on your communication skill? Come talk to the teddy bear. Let's do it. Yeah, people, I mean, I've done challenges where I've had like, in the past, I've had like 30 infants in my household at once and stuff. Um, but it's sort of like, that's not the vibes of this challenge. Like that's not the same thing, right? Obviously. Um, and it's not really f that feasible to take care of a hundred infants. <laughs> I, I speak from experience. Um, it's not really doable. You could probably manage a hundred like actual Sims if they were kids and up, maybe toddlers cause they can feed themselves and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not really feasible to <laughs> take care of a hundred infants, especially if you just have one adult. It's not possible. I don't think it's physically possible. Okay, speaking of infants, can you come? Actually, before you do that, maybe I'll try and do tummy time with you. We've kind of got like a, a method going to getting these kids aged up as, success, as successfully as possible. And we have to like move fast when they're infants because when you have more than one infant at once, it's a nightmare. You would think that in a challenge like this, twins would be good. It's not. They're not. <laughs> because when you have twins, oh, I didn't fix this yet. Um, when you have twins, it kind of throws off your schedule, you know, because you kind of get in the zone and, and you can like handle having that number of babies and then you have twins or God forbid triplets and it's really, really hard to keep up with. So, um, anyway, it's actually kind of a bad thing when you have more than one baby I've noticed in this challenge. Um, okay. You like the house so far? Oh, really? I like the house so far too. I think it's really cute. Um, I think I'm proud of it. We've been slowly working on it. Um, we're probably gonna have to like <laughs> add to it. Um, I haven't even put anything in this room <laughs> and stuff, but um, yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Very yellow house. <laughs> it is. It is very yellow, yeah. Do I want to upgrade anything? I already have really nice showers. I have these toilet stalls. I don't know. Maybe, I don't even cook, so I don't really even need to buy a better stove or anything. Maybe I could. We have so much money. How bad would it be if I bought this? I might as well. It's so easy for us to get money with the painting we've been doing. Let's just go for it. Let's be expensive. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Put more projects for the kids. Oh, we don't really need more right now, but I can fill it up, I guess. We have a project room. There. It's supposed to have good food. Well, I don't even, the thing is I don't cook. I just use this. So I don't really even need to, you know? Aurora and Def and Chloe and Twitch and Simmer Girl and Grace and German and Justina and Leo and Claire and Alien and Tails and Haley. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, why is the Grim Reaper there? Oh, because I just um, eliminated Akira when I last played. So, he, no one died today. The Grim is just, he's just still here from last time. He'll be gone soon. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about it. You're killing them? Yeah, I think it's kind of funny. So I, I uh, eliminate the baby daddies and I add them to my basement. So lift head milestone unlocked. Oh, good job, kid. Nice work. Maybe I'll put you to bed. How about that? Put toe to bed. Oh, and then maybe I'll finally add the baby thing to this. Okay. Yeah, and that way we don't have kids with the same person by accident again and I don't know, it's just funny. So, <laughs> what do you do for money? I, uh, I haven't had my sim paid. The, the real thing, the, the real reason I like to kill them, to be honest, um, is because 
it's really amusing to me when when this happens and people come into chat and they're like oh my god why is the grim reaper there and then i go into the basement and they're like oh my god what is wrong with you <laughs> i just think it's funny so that's why <laughs> When you have that reaction, that's that's why I want to do this. I'm I'm just uh, going for it. <laughs> oh, you finished your project. Good job. How are you doing skill wise though? Are we gonna get our grades up tomorrow? Oh, see, you're only a C student, so we're not gonna get an A tomorrow. That's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um. How about you? No, really. You're a B student. See, you might get your grade up tomorrow. Look at that. Because I do so many projects, they're level 9 of the mental skill. Do you ever run out of people to have babies with? Well, you think about how many townies are in the world. And also, like, how many... Um, even if, like, the default townies are all gone, think about how many townies after that there are that, like, just get generated by the game and stuff. Um, so you, I don't really have trouble with... Um, running out of sims, you know, because there's so many sims in the world. Um, we haven't had a baby with Greg yet, no. I think that Greg is kind of hard to do that with, if I remember correctly from the last time I played with him. But maybe I'm making that up. Because he, um, maybe it was that I couldn't add him to my household because he stopped being Greg when I was doing my unpaused room, that's what I'm thinking of. Because people are always like, add Greg to your unpaused household. And then he doesn't work when I try to do that. Oh, Greg is quite hard to romance, though. Especially if we can't take photos with him. And we have to be, we have to be fast. Because I'm trying to stay pregnant so she doesn't age. I don't want to become an adult yet. Um, so we can't really do things that take extra time. You know? Like trying to woo Greg. Yeah, um, yeah, I know standard gaming. I, um, my friend Steven Spring Sims has been doing an unpaused stream, uh, with a bunch of our friends in his household today, and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I overheated, if I remember correctly. Let's go find out. Oh, yeah. Lil Simsy, dead. Oh, it's on fire. Huh. Well, <laughs> yeah, I died, though, earlier. That checks out, though, I think. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> there have been a lot of fires. Yeah, I bet. At least Dan's still alive. That's impressive. Steven's still alive in his own thing. That's also impressive. Good for them. <laughs> At least some of our friends are making it. <laughs> We'll see who's the last person standing. <laughs> okay, do you want to go to bed? How about we all go to bed? Come on. Everybody to sleep so I can have some peace and quiet. What's wrong with you? Oh. Playful family dynamic. Okay. Has Dan been, like, putting out the fires in there, really? Okay, well, that's good to know. Glad to hear he's useful. Go, Dan, even though he killed you in Among Us yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe don't, don't, I don't respect him. Not after that. Me and Steven had a, um, I think, very, very successful uh, imposter round yesterday. I only got imposter once. Me and Spring Sims were imposter together. And it was, I think, very good. We, um... One of my favorite parts was that we did a stack kill, except we both killed in the stack without knowing the other person was going to do it. And then we somehow both got away with it. <laughs> so it was pretty fun. We did pretty well, I think, um, in that round. <laughs> we managed it, so... <laughs> Good duo. Good duo. It was kind of fun. Anyway, if you don't follow Spring Sims, he's a good friend of mine. We've been friends for literally years. I think Spring Sims is like the first ever Sims friend that I ever made. Like the first person in the Sims community that I became friends with was Spring Sims. And this was like seven years ago. So um, if you don't follow him, you should. That is all. Anyway, I'm painting. <laughs> I'm painting. Let's get some food after this. 
I spent so much money. Can we add Greg on Social Bunny, please? I mean, maybe. I don't even think I'm using Social Bunny. Um, I've just been like finding random people in clubs. We're gonna have, oh, we're gonna have kids with Brent next. And he's in a hot dog costume. Okay. And the kid's awake. Not okay, not okay. Uh-oh. You're doing a 50 baby challenge? You know what, that's smart of you, cause that's less painful. That's good. Um, do you want to feed the baby? How about you bottle feed so I can sell the bottle afterward? <laughs> hmm. Um, I've been working on this since May 1st, Maddie. Um, but I haven't been had been able to stream it that much in June because I was busy a lot, so. Like I went to VidCon and everything. Hi, Shella! My enemy, how are you? Shella killed me in cold blood multiple times yesterday during Among Us. I just want to point that out, okay? <sighs> Let's just make that clear, all right? <laughs> oh yeah, Rec, a lot of people have done more than 100 in this, and people just keep going. I'm gonna do actually 124 babies um, total, um, because during my charity fundraiser last month, I was very stupid. And somebody asked me if I got to $500,000 raised for St. Jude if I would restart the challenge. And I was like, yeah, because I'm never going to get to $500,000 raised. So sure, I'll restart the challenge. Then we raised $500,000 for St. Jude. So now I have to, we decided to restart, but like keep playing in the same save and just go 100 more babies from that day. So we have to have 100 and. 24 babies now. So. Um, anyway, I'm still calling it the 100 baby challenge because it takes too much explaining. We'll, we'll get to explaining that and calling it the 124 challenge once we're past 100. For now, it's the 100 baby challenge. And, and we can elaborate further later on. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Spring Sims just posted our corpses in the Discord. What, like our dead bodies in the, in this, in the Discord server from his... Oh, wow. Here's when me and Shella died during Spring Sims uh, stream today. And that's Dan, apparently just standing there. You know, Shella, at least we went out together, you know? Uh, I don't think we died in a fire. I think we just smell. I'm pretty sure we died from overheating, like from the summer. I don't think there was ever a fire. I, I think we just stink. And that's why we're covered in dirt. It's not, it's not like fire. It's, it's just, um, dirt. <laughs> Poo stained track suits we're wearing. That's lovely, Shella. We should probably like maybe get some of those in real life, in real life, you know? Oh god, okay. I hate the weekend in this game, because we're stuck with the kids at home all day, and you can't progress. Maybe with Stanley? So Ender Dragon, that's a great idea. People constantly suggest this. Here's my thought process on that, right? We're gonna be doing this challenge for a long time. Like, way past uh, all of the original townies being alive still. Like, at this current moment, the Jeffrey Landgraves of the world- oh my god. Um. Vlad's ghost just got hit with a meteor. At this current moment, a lot of the um, original townies are dying of old age. So what I'm trying to do is have kids with a lot of the original townies before they die. And then once everybody's dead and has been has died off and stuff, then we can have kids with like the Stanley Humphreys, the maybe we could add some celebrities into the save, you know, things like that. But we'll we'll use that to replace the world after all of the original townies are dead. And we'll have kids with the originals for now. You know? That's kind of my thought process, at least. Um, is that we'll, we'll stick to the, the real ones before they die. <laughs> um, anyway. I just put a dirty plate in your inventory that I didn't mean to. Oops, sorry. You did your homework. 
You did your homework. You did yours. You're only a toddler. Who's the next baby daddy? Well, we're having- we're pregnant with Akira's baby right now. We haven't decided who the next one after that will be. We probably should decide soon. But... Um, yeah, it's a lot harder with infants now than it was before. When we didn't have infants, life was way easier. <laughs> it's so funny looking back on this because we used to think that toddlers were so hard. They're not. They're just not. I don't know what we were thinking. Every time we complain about toddlers in the past, I feel stupid for saying that. Like, toddlers, easy. No problem. They're honestly a, like a blessing. I love toddlers in this game. Why- why did I ever complain about them? I was ridiculous for that. Anyway, let's bathe this kid. Give a bath to the baby. <sighs> you feel like infants are your punishment for ever complaining about toddlers. Yeah, I feel silly the way that I felt about them before. Anyway, they actually aren't- they were never that bad. Toddlers basically raise themselves for the most part. You just have to, um... The reason they're difficult in this challenge is you have to bathe them a lot. Because I never bothered to potty train them. Um, that's not that big of a deal, so. But for the most part, toddlers are easy. They even were back then. They were just, of the age groups, the hardest. So they were the, the one you would complain about, you know? <laughs> okay, I have a diaper I can sell, don't mind me. And then I'm gonna put the kid here and start practicing with it. I was gonna say start training it. <laughs> That's not right. Okay, tummy time, let's go. Get a move on. Okay. You let your toddler sit in their poo. That's not very nice of you, Shella. It's kind of a weird thing to do. You're a bad parent. Yikes. Yikes. The house is so cute. Thanks. I really like genuinely like this house. It is a little bit weird. Um, you know, with the, <laughs> the room situations. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I like it. I think it's nice. So. <laughs> okay. You got rollover to back milestone unlocked. You can stop taking care of it now. Um, do you want to look at your toys next? Good. Okay. Who do you want to have kids with? Maybe we could find... Oh my god, the club is like only... That's not good. It's only my family. Um, traits... I'm family-oriented, right? So maybe we could find someone who's family-oriented and a goofball. Or a goofball, sorry. And then we can have kids with them. Johnny Zest! Oh, do you want to have kids with Johnny Zest next? I think so. I think so. That seems like a good pick. Okay, we don't need to do that yet, because we don't give birth until... Yeah, we're only in our second... We, are, we aren't even in our second trimester, actually. We're in our first trimester, second trimester in 20 minutes. <laughs> So that's no good. <laughs> we are not even close to having babies. Okay, that's fine. Get leftovers. Um, oh good, you got the reach milestone. Um, play with your toys. See, when you only have one infant, it's so easy. I'm gonna be able to age you up soon because I have to get two in each category. Oh wait, we don't have our second first bath or our second social one. But we're trying to get our second fine motor. We did our gross motor ones. This will be easy. This will be easy. Is there a way to turn off the live subtitles? Yeah, you can press the CC button on the stream, Lou. Um, you would have the CC turned on on Twitch. You can just press it in the bottom right corner. Um, and if you're on mobile, uh, it's you probably don't have it on by accident because on mobile you have to turn the captions on through your phone settings. Um, so I don't think you would have done it by accident, but... You can press the C key as well as true. You can just press C on your keyboard, right? Um, okay. You're taking care of this. Discipline your toddler, child, or teen five times. Can I do that? 
Can I yell at you for splashing in the toilet? Maybe I could try and just like cheat this aspiration a little bit by repeatedly having my kid do something bad and then like punishing him for it. <laughs> See, watch, make a mess. Okay, now come yell at for making a mess. See, you think praising also counts? Oh, really? Hmm. I'll, how about I hug it out over making a mess. Hug it out, see? Um. Do you wanna do it again? Sorry. <laughs> when did I add an upstairs? Um, a f uh, probably a few weeks ago in real life. It's only got some random items in it. It's kind of like fish themed. I did it when the book nook kit came out. <laughs> so. Grab milestone unlocked. Oh, good job. I need you to practice talking to your siblings. I'll get there. Are you gonna make a mess outside now? Why? Come here. Let's try this one more time. Parenting. Ask not to make a mess. Self-soother, there you go. That's four out of five, okay. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna let the baby like babble at me or something. Oh, it fell asleep. Never mind. <laughs> Wake up. Smile at. Smile at. Smile at. The cow plant is hungry? Oh, I'll have to take care of that once I'm done taking care of the baby. One at a time. <laughs> One at a time. Okay. Aww. Take care of baby. What about you? Honestly, the kids are all like totally fine. And we have hours until Monday, so. Why is there a cow plant? What what kind of question is that? Why wouldn't there be a cow plant? What do you mean? Why do you all act surprised by stuff like this? Oh, you need to get your imagination skill up. Um, let's play inside. Of course I have a cow plant. Come on. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> There's always a cow plant. Don't be silly. Okay. How do you what milestones are you missing? You know how to smile. Can you like, I don't know, watch or something? Can you talk? Can you learn how to babble maybe? That would really help me. <gasps> there we go, coup milestone unlocked. So the last thing that you need is another first. So maybe I can give you a bubble bath and then I can age the toddler up. I mean the infant up, sorry. <laughs> The infant. Wait, no, don't bathe it yet. Feed the cow plant, then you can do it. That could have been bad. Could you imagine? Okay, cow plant fed. Now let's take care of the baby. Get a bubble bath from Rosa. What about you? Do you wanna go play? Oh, you're getting sick? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The baby daddy of our current pregnancy is Akira Kibo, Abby. Um, he's dead. <laughs> Purchase medicine, there we go. Um, take medicine. Okay. Love him? Yeah, me too. I like Akira. I think he's really cute. And dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, do you want to take your medicine now? How about you? You're fine. You didn't bathe the kid! What are you doing? Can you get out of the bath? I need this. Leave. Oh, you're not even in the club. Wait. How do I... I have a club of... Yeah, let me kick out these teens. I never added the people in my household now. I had a cl um. Can my children not be in the club? What's up with this? Huh. I don't know what to do with that information. No? Can you join it? I made this club so that they could, um, 
get homework bonuses. But anyway, ignore that. <laughs> Thor, dramatic, twisted, Jeff, Lisa, uh, Caro, Lavender, Leah, Karate, thank you for the subs. Okay. Can you bathe the kid now? Bubble bath? Toe. How about you? Almost level three. We can probably age up both these kids in a second. That is the goal. That is the goal. Save? Ooh. You know, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> nice work, chat. Thank you. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah. Am I using a house size mod for this? No, so Abby, with the baby challenge, you don't wanna have 100 babies in your household. You wanna raise 100 babies. So it's part of the challenge that you could only have eight Sims in your household because then you can't get pregnant again until the other babies have aged up and moved out, you know? Um, so you're like, it, it gives you incentive to successfully age the kids up and move them out as fast as possible. Um, so that way you can have the next kid. So the goal isn't to have a hundred kids in your household or 10 kids in your household. You want to have eight Sims and that's kind of part of the, the challenge, you know, cause then you can't, um, I don't know. The goal is to like age the kids up as fast as you can so you can get pregnant and do it again. You know, does that make sense? Um, okay. Did you even get your bath? What are you doing? Is it cause you're too tired to get a bath? I think I have to put him to bed. I don't think I can give him the bath yet. That's fine. Are you level three now? Yes. Okay, I can age this toddler up. Step one. I have no cake. <laughs> okay, actually in hindsight, step one is make a cake. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect. Rat check? I think the rat is fine, Lou. I think the rat is fine, but I can check in a second. Let me just make the cake first. Um, oh, the rat needs its habitat cleaned, but otherwise it's fine. We're making money by painting, Jam. Uh, and we make pretty good money off of that. We also, in the baby challenge, you get sent gifts from like the family um, for kids on their birthday and they give them toys that are sometimes like one or 200 simoleons each. And then when you, you know, get like 10 in the mail at once, you make some good money from that too, <laughs> to be honest. So. Uh, did my Sim get married? Yeah, and I got some inheritance money off of it and then I killed the, my husband. So. Oh, and the money trash can, also very useful. This thing, it's base game, by the way, before you ask. Um, you get 10 simoleons per sim in your household that you, from a piece of trash that you put in there. So if you had like a diaper or like a plate from dinner and you put it in the trash can, you get 10 simoleons per sim. So I would get 60 simoleons total for one plate, which is quite easy. So who did you marry? I don't remember. So. No, I, I don't want to get a money tree because I had the money tree the last time I did this challenge and I actually regretted it because I made too much money and it wasn't fun anymore. I, I kind of would rather my sim have to actually like try a little bit harder to get money. We already have a lot of money. Um, that's why I bought the 13,000 simoleon stove earlier because I had like 26k just sitting on me. Um, so I don't really want to have the money tree because you get like 8,000 simoleons a day. So I'd almost prefer not to, you know? Yes. Um, which is a oh, weird thing to say, but that's kind of how I feel about it. You get the money tree in um, the reward store. You can buy the money tree for 5,000 points. So we don't have enough points anyway. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's how that works. Thomas aged up. Thomas is a child of the islands. Okay. Happy birthday. Add candles to this. Please, and be fast. Be so, so, so fast. Come on. There we go. Okay. What do you need? To eat some food? Take a shower? Yeah, money tree's kind of a fun feature, but I just think it's like a little bit too overpowered, so it's not, I don't know. I wouldn't like it. You found a money tree in the dumpster once? Yeah, you can get kind of lucky sometimes from stuff like that. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, you need to eat too, okay. 
wishing well for money and embrace the chaos. I suppose, I mean, we could do something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe we could buy a wishing well. We have a lot of space on our lot, so we could always, like, make a forest in this corner and hide a wishing well in the middle of it. Maybe I'll try and save some money up and do that next. Yeah? I like that plan. That could be fun. All right. Child, I think that you have... No, you need to have another first. Should I have, a, like, a visitor come over or something? So that you can meet your first visitor and get a second first so we can age you up? We need to have two milestones in every category. Usually my the babies have, like, blowout diapers. I don't need to worry about it, but that hasn't happened yet. I did a bubble bath. Like, oh, wait, no, I was going to... No, sorry, here's what happened. I thought I did it and it didn't work, but actually I didn't do it because the kid was too tired, so it wouldn't let me do it, but now I can. Never mind, I can do a bubble bath. See, that's what I was trying to do earlier, but I couldn't because it was too sleepy. Try again. In my head, I thought it didn't work, so I had to do a different attempt, but no. Bubble bath is easy. If you do bubble bath, usually you get both the first bath and first bubble bath at the same time, which is faster, but I didn't do that, so. <laughs> Family tree check? I mean, I can show you, but it's not that interesting. <laughs> it's just a lot of random sims. Um, but it's not, it's really not that interesting. <laughs> if you want to see their names, I've got a spreadsheet linked in the chat so you can see their names and who their dads are. It's a little bit easier to, to see that way. Um, Okay. Oh, what <laughs> oh Fang, hey, I'm really glad that we could be there for you, friend. I'm glad that you could come by. I'm so sorry. Okay, first level bath milestone. Now I can age you up. Let's start there. Let me get my cake. No, I did not start this today. Oh my god. No, you cannot have 32 babies in, in 42 minutes. That's not, that's not humanly possible. I started this in the beginning of May. It's so been going for a couple months. Uh, this isn't like a quick challenge. It takes a long time, so. Takes a long time. All right, let's age the kid up. Come on, take the baby up, age the baby up. What are you doing? It fell asleep. Come on. Come on. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> also, Francie, Rosa, Larley, Jaden, thank you for the subs. <laughs> Come on. Happy birthday! Do I do the science babies too? No, so here's the thing, right? With the science babies, I think that in the 100 baby challenge, a science baby is kind of almost cheating because part of the challenge is having to romance and get pregnant, right? And then like wait the three days of the pregnancy um, before you can have another baby. So when you do a science baby, it costs money, but then it's instant. You know, so it's it's like easy to do a science baby. Obviously that's nice, I don't care if you do it. I just don't think that I would do it because I think that like the, first of all, being pregnant means your sim doesn't age. So being pregnant is kind of helpful um, because then my sim won't age and so they'll live longer um, and therefore be able to do more in their lifetime. Um, but also like the three day waiting period is kind of, I think part of the, the challenge. So anyway. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Um, my sim is pregnant. What do you mean? She's in her... No. She's in her second trimester. Third trimester in three hours. Is where we're at right now. Oh, I need more projects. No, we're on normal lifespan. Trying. Um, we're on normal lifespan. Okay. You don't age the kids up on their birthday. You age the kids up when they get like an A in school and stuff, so. Um, okay, do you wanna get some food? Are there candles on this? Yeah, okay, good. Good. How do you do this? I quit mine? I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you. The baby challenge is a lot, so. 
No, Galactic, I just aged the newborns up straight away. Now that we have infants, I don't think there's any point in waiting with the newborns, so I usually just age the newborns up straight away. People might play differently, but I just, I like, I feel like there's no point dealing with newborns, so I just age them up. Usually what I actually do is I have the baby, get pregnant while it's a newborn, kill the baby daddy while it's a newborn, and then age it up. All in one day, because I try and get pregnant as fast as possible. <laughs> So, um, is all of this base game or did you use a pack? What do you mean for the build? I have a lot of packs. If you're asking if you can play this challenge base game, this challenge has existed in the Sims community for years and years and years and years and years. Um, so you can do the baby challenge without any packs very easily. People always have. So, um, if you look it up, you can see the rules and stuff. It might help you, but, uh, yeah, this is... You don't need packs to play the challenge. People have been playing it without packs for years, so. Um, do you want to get some food? Grab a survey. Yeah? Come on. There you go. Now maybe you can go to sleep. Maybe you could go to sleep. You can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Okay, this kid's not gonna get their grade up tomorrow, are they? <laughs> no, they are not. Grandma, no, they are not. No. Okay. Um, come on. Bedtime. Okay. No, killing them isn't part of the challenge. I just think it's funny. And then I can have them in my basement. The, that part isn't one of the rules. That's just fun. <laughs> Especially because people in my Twitch chat really, really, really get upset over it. <laughs> so I think it's funny when they're like, what did you do? What are you doing? So. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, to bed. Save game. Okay, peace and quiet again. Day two. This game is scary. Hey, Nikki, thank you for the sub gift. And Eve and Elizabeth and Franz and Rosa, thank you so much. Okay. Bedtime. Except now I have ghosts in my basement is the problem. And these ones are annoying to make leave because they're floating. Here, watch this. Make leave. You can't triple speed when they're here, you know? What are you doing? Is that... Hi, Christopher. Go away. Hi, Caleb. Go away. What do you want? Are you fully rested? No, go to sleep. What are you doing? I hate when they wake up in the middle of the night. So annoying. Yeah, and you aren't supposed to have the same parent twice um, with the challenge. It's like one of the rules because it, part of it is like you have to romance people and like get them to like you and want to have a kid with you. So um, it's supposed to like slow you down a little bit to have to do that over and over again. Whereas if you just had the kid with the same person every time, like if you were already full pink bar with Bob pancakes, it's easy to get pregnant again instead of having to like meet someone new and stuff. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know, multiple parts to this little challenge. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna be in our yeah, we're in our third trimester, so I need to have us meet the next baby daddy today. So I'll probably invite Johnny over later. Um, I need to have you join the club, too. Wrong one! Ew! Wrong club, wrong club, wrong club. Get away. Oh, scary. I wanted to join this one. Okay. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll bring Johnny over so we can try for a baby soon. <laughs> Hey Carla and Cora and Jeff and Heather, thank you for the subs. Does Kayla still read subs? Yeah, Opal, did I miss yours? I don't think so, because I'm I'm totally caught up with them. Um at least I thought I was. <laughs> um, maybe did you play it or or not? But I read them in batches usually, so. Hey Leo, thank you for the 37 months also. Anyway, um How can you get this mod? What mod? I'm not using any mods right- well I have- I have a couple mods, but not mods that I'm using, unless you're thinking about the one that I just used to cheat sims away a second ago, that's MC Command Center. Um, but to do the challenge, I don't have any mods. 
Um, okay. Um, you're awake. It's only 4.30, so no one's gonna come over here, are they? Do you wanna sell this? We'll start there. I was trying to work on getting my meditation skill up because once you max this, then I can teleport. So I'm trying to work on wellness slowly. <laughs> Maybe that way um, I'll be able to get it up faster, but we'll wait until the morning comes or until the regular morning comes. And I don't know what I'm saying. And then we can invite over Johnny. Sorry, I gotta wait until he's awake. Okay. You use the bathroom, then you can get some food. This is our starter sim. Yeah, I, I started the challenge with her. She's had all the babies so far. Hey, Majestic and Faye, thank you for the subs, both of you. Oh my goodness. Um, you maybe want to use the bathroom, take a shower. You can use the bathroom, get some food. Okay. You're gonna eat. You're not ready to wake up yet. I feel like Sims wake up earlier. Anyone else notice this? Well, they wake up pretty early when they have uh, good beds and stuff because they don't need to sleep as long when their energy goes up faster. Can you play it on long lifespan? I mean, I'm sure if you wanted to. I think the rules are, are for short lifespan, but if you wanted to play it on long lifespan, like here, here's the thing about me, right? I am not really a stickler for the rules of in-game challenges. I don't see any point in that. <laughs> um, I, I feel like when it comes to stuff like this, if you think you would have more fun playing on long lifespan, by all means do it, you know? Like if you need to stretch the rules so the game is more fun for you, do it, you know? Um, that's kind of my philosophy on Sims challenges in that way though. Um, the challenge is like the rules are kind of like a suggestion, you know, like there's no one keeping track Just do what you want to do um, So if you really badly don't want to play on normal lifespan by all means don't right like there's no point in suffering if you don't want to um, it's Supposed to be fun, so <laughs> Okay, you are feeding the cow plant and then you can come talk to Johnny. How about that? Knock knock joke share photos flatter Gossip. Oh, he's angry. That's inconvenient. You're cheating your way through the detective career, not so very because it's still broken. See? Exactly. <laughs> and I, speaking as the person who wrote not so very, if you need to switch the rules a little bit, by all means, make the game fun for you. You know? There's no point in, in like if it's if it's gonna make you want to quit, why would you put yourself through that? It's a, it's supposed to be fun. So anyway, maybe. <laughs> uh, have a deep conversation. Surge emotion. Passion. I can do that. That's not a cheat, by the way. That's because um, she's feeling fine and emotionally mindful. It's a feature from Snowy Escape that happens occasionally. There we go. Gossip? Beguile? I don't know. Okay, kids, off to school. Have a good day. Please get your grades up. I'm begging you. So, so, so begging you. Study hard. Study hard. Okay. Easy. Oh, wait. What are, you, are you good? Let's work on your skills, kid. Go slide. I just need to romance Johnny enough that he'll be easy to woohoo with once I have a baby. Because I have to have this baby and then get pregnant again immediately. <laughs> so that's the goal right now is just to get ourselves set up for that. <laughs> Trey, Beetle, Suns, Raven, thank you for the subs. Oh my. Well, would you like to kiss hands again? Is she an adult? She's a young adult only. She becomes an adult in three days, but because she's been pregnant constantly, she hasn't aged in a while. So she should have been an adult a long time ago, but your Sims don't age while they're pregnant. So in the challenge, if you can keep them pregnant permanently, um, it works out pretty well for you because then you don't 
age, and then she can keep going for a long time. Essentially. Okay, this seems good. I'll take a selfie with you, and then we should be able to have you ready for when the baby comes. Yeah? Come on. Come on. Confess the mistake, sure, why not? Okay, come on. Come on. Take a photo with. Come on. No? Okay. Come on. Come. Okay. Let's try and reset and do it again. <laughs> this game is too much. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, finally. Trey, thank you for the sub, by the way. Did I cheat skills? No, no, no. No, no, no. She's been alive for a long time. I don't I do not do any cheats in this challenge. Um, no, I would not do that. Okay. Um, let me put my picture with Johnny Zest up. So, he'll be the father of baby number 34, but we just aren't quite there yet. We're um, moving a little bit quickly. I haven't even had this baby yet. <laughs> you were not prepared for the, <laughs> for the basement? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Johnny, you could probably stick around if you want to. I don't know when I'm gonna give birth, but I'm not quite there yet. So. Would you like to- how are you doing? Level 2. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey Chrissy, thank you for the 11 months! And Laura with the 4 months, thank you so much. Okay. Some of them have 2 urns because there were glitches and I had to kill them twice. Like, with Don Lothario, um, the, my pregnancy glitched out, and so I had to bring him back to life, get pregnant again, and then kill him again. So I had to kill him twice. Um, because of a bug, basically. Because I needed to get pregnant again because it was broken. <laughs> So, yeah. um, just glitches are why. <laughs> okay. Don Lothario does deserve to get killed, killed twice. I actually killed him three times because I, I had a kid with old Don Lothario, like the pre-Caliente update one, and then the Caliente update happened, and so I decided to have a baby with the new Don Lothario also. Um... Except he's the one that glitched. So I killed old Dawn, and then I killed new Dawn, brought new Dawn back to life, got pregnant again, and then killed new Dawn again. So I've killed Dawn three times. Technically. Oh my god! I don't have enough money for bills. I don't have enough money for bills. Oh no. Um, go make a painting, please. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's fine. We'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm not worried. It's fine. <laughs> Sammy, thank you for the two month reason. Um. Okay. No, Alice. <laughs> the not so very challenge. I people are always so like, what does it mean? Why did you call it this? It's not that deep. There's not that big of a reason. Um, Barry Sims are quite a trend. At least they were like five years ago when I wrote the challenge. Um, and the not so very challenge is a color themed challenge that isn't Barry Sims but still color themed. So it's not a berry sim, but it's kind of a berry sim. That's all it means. Nothing to do with fruit. And a berry sim is just a, a sim, like when you've made like a strawberry sim, they'd have like, they'd be all pink, everything pink, pink hair, pink face, pink, 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 pink you know? Um, that's all it means. There's not like a deeper meaning. It was, we wrote this in like 2017. It's really like, there's, I don't know. It's a cute name, that's all. It's just, <laughs> there's no like, there's no like deep, deep meaning behind it. It would have made more sense if you were around on Tumblr in 2017, but it's just a cute, like, doesn't mean anything really. Um, <laughs> there's no like behind the scenes secret or anything. Are you gonna make a new challenge or too lazy? Whoa, is that like a backhanded thing to say? <laughs> <laughs> Too lazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, maybe someday. I don't think I'm too lazy, but maybe, maybe you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> okay, sell this, please. Can I afford my bills yet? Yeah, I can. Good. 
Um, yes I can. They're only 6,300. Um, oh, and get the mail also, because we're gonna have gifts. This is also a good way to get money in the baby challenge. You get presents from your, like, other kids. Look at this. All these gifts of toys. Just got me, like, 3,000 simoleons. Very nice. Very nice. Um... Do you wanna- oh, I need to buy food again, that's what I need to do. Serve an assortment. Yeah? And then I can put this over here, so that we have enough for everybody. This is also a pro tip for a challenge like this, because you don't need to cook this way. Alright, grab a survey. There we go. Save? Oh, good plan. <laughs> uh, but to answer the question, I I don't really have a desire to write another like 10 generation legacy challenge right now because I don't want to play a different one right now. Like I'm kind of playing other things right now. Like I'm playing Not So Berry right now. I've got a different YouTube series going on. So maybe when I finish those things and I'm like looking for a new thing for myself to play, I would do it. But I like I wouldn't start playing a new legacy right now. So I, I wouldn't write a new legacy right now. Does that make sense? Um, but maybe maybe someday. Just not right now, because I'm doing something else, <laughs> you know? Um, okay, how are you doing? Grade school, C student, B student, A student, A student. Okay, the first two kids can age up into teens. That's how that works. As soon as they get an A in school, they can age up. Um, and the goal is to do that as fast as possible, obviously, because that way, um, the faster they age up, the faster they get out of the house, and then you have more space in your house, and you know, <laughs> that is the way, so. That one's yours. Um, Lil aged up into a teen and is neat. Yay. Can you add some birthday candles to that? You need to work on a school project also. Which one is yours? That one. That one's yours. Okay, your birthday now, ready? Blow out candles. <laughs> Sadie, thanks for the 10 months. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, and I'm so glad to hear that. What what amazing news. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. That's that's amazing news. All right. Happy birthday. A freegan and a green fiend. Look at you. I think Princess Peach over here is a fan of eco lifestyle. <laughs> Clearly, we got both the traits. Oh, they both have the pigtails. Weird, huh? Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's the Parenthood bread box. It's got some plain swatches and some fun swatches. It's got, um, like, just, like, plain wood ones, and then it's got a couple. There's one that looks like a kid drew on it, and then one that has, like, some flowers on it. But yeah, it's the Parenthood bread box. It's a cute swatch, isn't it? What's that? Broken. Okay. Okay. Um. You're gonna give birth any second, probably. Right? So. Oh, do you wanna play in here? I can age you up soon. We're probably gonna play Not So Berry on Monday, I think, Scarlet. That's my plan, at least. Um, I was hoping to, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, probably on Monday. Also, I saw somebody earlier ask me if I'm gonna react to the gameplay trailer. I forgot to respond to them out loud, but I thought it in my head. This happens a lot when I'm streaming. <laughs> Where, like, I, I see something and I mean to answer it, but then something else happens and I, you know. Um, but yeah, I make a video about every Sims trailer ever, so, yeah. Um, okay, would you like to... Maybe you could go paint again. While I wait for the baby to be born. That might help. Okay. <laughs> Fitting announcement for the 100 baby challenge too. <laughs> that's right. That's honestly good timing. Although sometimes, I always think this. It's, it's kind of similar to how when people like suggest a name on our spreadsheet from the fundraiser and stuff. It's like, is it an honor or a punishment? to have your name selected. Like, if if you chose for me to name a baby after you in the baby challenge, 
Is it a good thing? Or is it a bad thing to be in this household? <laughs> you know? Like, it's almost both. It's both. Like, sure, maybe it's an honor to be chosen, but also, now you have to live here. Right? <laughs> and that's not fun. Nobody wants to be in this household. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Are you still playing games? Go work on your project. Yeah? Oh, good job. What skills do you have? Level three. Okay, so it's possible for you to get your grade up. See how easy that is? The teens, if you try hard enough, it's very possible to get them aged up on the day that they become, well, the next day, I should say. Because now with these projects, they gain the logic skill and they gain the, um, the mental skill as kids. And so if we just keep working on that, then they gain the logic skill as kids. So they're already like this close, this close to aging up once they become teens and not having a baby. Oh God. Okay. Here we go, chat. Have baby at hospital. Send alone. So, to explain how this works, I have been randomizing every single baby we've had off of a spreadsheet of names suggested by people who donated to our St. Jude fundraiser last month. Um, so in May, we raised $516,000 for St. Jude. I'm not kidding. Um, and people who donated $25 were given the opportunity to suggest a baby name. Um, and so I have a very long spreadsheet of those baby names, okay? There's like 1,600 names or something, 1,668 names. They're all quite random. There's a very um, interesting collection of, of names here. Um, and so I'm gonna name the kid off of this. Uh, I'm gonna get a random number generator up and then we are going to name the baby based on what it tells us, okay? Um, that's how we do this here. <laughs> 1,000, oops, 1,668. If it gives us a name that was already used, because before I made the spreadsheet public, so before it was public, I was deleting them off the spreadsheet, um, but now all of the names are on the spreadsheet, so you can see like which ones we've used from here. They're like highlighted yellow like that. Um, and so if we get one that we've already used, I'll just spin again, basically. I don't think that'll happen. It's very slim chance, but if it does, We'll spin again, yeah? Okay. Number 1,514. Ready? Oh, okay. Shika Maru. There we go. Let me highlight it yellow. Closely followed by Fred, Candy Corn, Kirsten, Kiosk, Desmond. <laughs> See? This is the thing. <laughs> like, such an, um, Interesting, not twins. Oh my God, thankfully. Okay, we're good. We're good, all is well. But yeah, there's a very interesting selection of, um, of names on there. <laughs> um, let me put you over here for a second, just for now, because I need to get pregnant again. That is step one, is to call up Johnny Zest and get pregnant as fast as we can. Literally as fast as we can. Um, come on, Johnny, hurry up. What are you upset about? Oh, you smell? Yikes. Okay, well, go hug this bear a few times. Also, hi, Hope. How was your day? Hope, you didn't update us. How was your day? How was your day? Please share. Can I show the daddies? Oh yeah. Here's the, um, oops. Here's the full basement. Yeah, Clary, we've had quite a few twins and triplets in our day, but we've realized that having twins and triplets is actually a really negative thing when it comes to the challenge. Um, it makes it like significantly more difficult to, to do this. And it also means that we don't live as long because the pregnancy doesn't um, doesn't last as long, or doesn't we we are like not pregnant as much because you have like three babies. Um, whereas I found that it's better to be pregnant constantly and have one kid at a time because then we don't age, so she'll live longer. You know, um, 
Went to Animal Kingdom, saw a baby zebra. Oh my gosh, Hope. I hope you had the best time. That's so exciting. That is so, so, so exciting. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I like Animal Kingdom. I think it's a fun park. I, I think that Animal Kingdom, it's one of the four Disney parks. I think that if you are going to Disney from far away, it might not be like top of your list. And I understand that. But as a person who lives in Florida, I think the Animal Kingdom is the best of the Disney parks. It's like the best park for a person who lives locally, I think. Um, it's really good vibes. Really, really good vibes. So, anyway, I like it. <laughs> I think a lot of people see it as a skip, but I don't think it's a skip. It's a fun place to be. Um, but anyway. <laughs> they have on Disney Plus a show about Animal Kingdom and they show like a lot of the animals that live there and they talk to a lot of the keepers and like the vets and stuff that work there. And I think it's pretty cool because it's like a fun behind the scenes on them. So, oh, I can increase the baby count. 33. Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you pregnant? Let's find out. Come on, let's find out. Come on. No, oh, I'm doing it again. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Not pregnant? What? I tried for a baby twice. <gasps> oh no. Do you know what? Everybody says that, Christine, that they think Animal Kingdom is the hottest park. And I don't agree literally at all i don't agree at all about that i think animal kingdom has the most shade out of all the parks i think hollywood studios is the hottest park hollywood studios is a curse like you think about the the toy story land not an ounce of shade anywhere in that place nightmare nightmare i do not agree animal kingdom pleasant hollywood studios horrible worst place imaginable sorry it isn't that bad it's just like you know? <laughs> it's just hot. It's very hot there. Get out! I'm trying to try for a baby! Go away! You're really inconveniencing me. She's gonna, like, age up in the time that it takes us to do this. Come on! <laughs> Animal Kingdom makes you feel sticky because it's so humid? I don't know. They're all like that. <laughs> the world is like that. I don't even think I agree that it's more humid. And I think that I have more personal experience than you. Because I live in the swamp. Sunset. She said, okay, swamp girl. That's mean, Christine. I have to live in Florida. It's not nice to make fun of me. Please be pregnant. Oh my god, not pregnant? <gasps> Why? No, Johnny Zest, you actually can't leave. You actually can't leave, I'm sorry, but you can't. Why is she not pregnant yet? Asked to be boyfriend, whoa, I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> Kayla thinks she's Shrek, oh no. Um, try for baby. Come on, maybe one of the teens can help take care of this kid. Maybe one of the teens could age it up. How about that? How are you doing? You want some food? Oh god. I was so distracted by the baby that this is happening. Ugh. Why is she not pregnant yet? Baby aged up. Good. Can you get carried here by... Which one is that? Put the baby there. Here, you can come go to sleep. You can come go to sleep. You can come go to sleep. Hopefully I'm pregnant. <sighs> we had this problem last time where I tried for a baby like multiple times and I wasn't getting pregnant. I wonder why. Oh, there we go. Eating for two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's better. Um, all right, let me put the spreadsheet up here so I can change the, the babies. 34, we don't have this baby yet. It's dad will be Johnny Zest. I can finish formatting it later. 
Now I have to kill Johnny. How should I get him? What do you think? Please, Chris, up, Pip, Cindy, thank you for the subs. What do you think? Freeze him, heat. Do you know what? I died from overheating in Spring Sims unpaused stream today. So maybe it's time I get my revenge. You know? Spring Sims killed me? Well, I'll kill Johnny Zest. What do you think about that? And we were just talking about being hot. This is in honor of Disney World. <laughs> Come on, die. Moose Gorpina. Hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, Okay. No, 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 no. Nobody wake up. Nobody feel sad. You didn't even know him. You don't care. Don't pretend like you care. It's actually offensive to pretend to care. Go to- go away. Go away. Go to bed. You don't care. I know you don't care. None of you care. Okay. <laughs> Bye! Are you in bed? Come on! Go to sleep. How are your skills doing? We need a little bit more communication and then I can age this one up. Well, are you like stuck or something? No. Weird. Well, okay. Can you? Oh good, he's gone. All right, into the basement. Let me just add Johnny Zest here. <laughs> he's the dad of baby number 34. Oh, I can change my stream title to 33 out of 100 as well. Good. Perfect. Um, hi Rosa, I'm calling to let you know that Johnny Zest passed away. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. I heard. I, I, I knew that he died. So. Is it only one baby? I hope it's only one baby. We have seven sims, so it should be only one baby. Um, but one is better for the baby challenge, because it means we can stay pregnant constantly. So. Okay. I fed the rat, don't worry. I did the rat check. <laughs> okay. Everything is good. Things are actually going quite well, I think. We've totally got a handle on things here. So, you little one, do you want to... Can you not look at that? What are you doing? Maybe I should put you to bed. Should I put her to bed for real? No, I haven't given the rat an anti-aging trait. What I've been doing, Christine, is every time um, the rat dies of old age, I just get a new one and then pick a name off the list. So that way we can have, like, more people's names from the list used. Um, so that's how I was doing it. Right now the rat's name is Poutine. Um, so yeah, the rat has died at least maybe two or three times now, but that's okay. Because then we pick another one, so... That's what I've been up to. Okay, bye Hope, have a fun time playing cards with your grandma. <laughs> have fun, I talk to you later. Oh, Hope. No, I won't tell her. I'll let her leave. It's just that, cause you know how Hope is like out of town right now? Um, and she hasn't done my closed captions cause she's on vacation, which is totally fine. The problem is, She's gonna do them when she gets back, and I posted a 30 minute long video today. Yikes. <laughs> Happy vacation, Hope. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, she's still here. Uh oh. You already saw? Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was gonna be that long. It just happened. I just like kept talking and talking and talking and you know Here we are <laughs> Okay, 
This kid's miserable. Yikes. You checked your Google Sheets app and saw it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I pay Hope. I pay her by the minute. Um, so. <laughs> She's not just gonna do it for fun. <laughs> I would never ask her to just do it for fun. Crowville, thank you for the five sub too, Jen. And Liz, thank you for the subs too. Oh my. Okay. Okay, bye, Hope. <laughs> um, you're using the bathroom. You're fully rested. You could probably come work on your projects again, actually. Um, start working carefully. Um, how are you doing? You're awake? Are you fully rested? Maybe I'll feed the baby. Okay. Um, baby care. Bottle feed so I can sell the bottle. How about that? Oh, wait, that's right. I always cheat away their sadness if they're sad about, like, my previous baby daddy's dying. Because in my opinion, they don't know them. So, like, why would you care? So I usually just cheat it away. Because I kill so many sims this way that, like, there's no point in us struggling with that, you know? <laughs> um, is doing captions for YouTube difficult? I don't know if I would say it's difficult. I do think that it's time consuming, um, but I don't necessarily think that it's hard. We could probably ask Hope that when she uh, comes back, but she's gone now because she's spending time with her grandma. So, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily difficult, but I do think that it takes a long time to write the captions. So there's that, you know? Um, okay, let's save the game again. <laughs> and it can be kind of taxing in that way too, I think, because you're, you have to be watching it slowly and, and transcribing what I'm saying and stuff, so. Um, okay. Um, you probably should shower, to be honest, before you go to school. You're pretty much okay. You are pretty much okay, too. Hi, Wormy. Hello. Are you here to help us? Do you want to play? There's a cat. <laughs> there is a cat. Um, okay. Um, you're fine. You could probably shower, too. Snap, I would really love it if you went and sat right there. Because if you sat on your chair, then I could film you for content. What do you think about that? Would that be so fun? Yeah. No, she's just gonna sit here, I think. <laughs> All right, let's do some tummy time, shall we? Tummy time, tummy time. Try and get this infant aged up. Oh my goodness, I'm doing bad. Tummy time, okay. Okay. You're blocking my whole keyboard snap. <laughs> You're blocking my whole keyboard. Oh, diaper change. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh God, where'd the diaper go? Did I lose it? Put the kid down. Okay, one more time. Tummy time. Tummy time. The real owner of the stream is here. Yeah, the cat has come. The The real streamer is here now. Finally, little Simsy's almost gone and the real streamer's here. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're going to school. I'm gonna send you all alone today. Hopefully the teens will get their grades up. Cause then I can move them out. That would be really good. Go to school, go to school. Oh, I didn't take my shower. Oh, oops. Well, you'll definitely get your grade up. So that's fine. Study hard. Okay. What are you crying about? Oh, go away. You're not sad about Johnny. You're not sad about Johnny. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay. Lift head milestone. That's pretty good. Wait, don't. More choices, friendly, activities. Can I not do tummy time? I guess I'm in the middle of it. How are you doing? Fine. 
activities, tummy time. Okay, let's queue up a bunch of these. The milestones come with growing together. It's kind of one of the main features of growing together, so. Um. Yeah, and she has an emotional quirk from fame. Is that just a pop-up that we had? Yeah, she's um, she's got Ooh, some got fame because she's been selling so many paintings. <laughs> she's actually a level three celebrity. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. We should use this. Gain bonus fame from skills, corporate partnership, receive gifts in the mail. A new celeb use serum potion. Increased earnings on crafted objects. Yeah, let's buy all those. Yeah. <laughs> Do I think that Horse Ranch will have any new features like milestones? And somebody replied, yes, horses. <laughs> um, I don't, <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna have a new sim feature like the milestones, so that's what you mean. Um, but anyway, um, okay, I think. We'll finish this. Anyway, yeah, I think that there probably won't be a feature like that, like one of these from the sim panel. Because um, I don't know what it would be, but the, the new feature will be like the horse stuff, you know? So, anyway. <laughs> I hope we get a horse sim trait. That's my dream, is for us to have, because we have like a cat lover and dog lover. There has to be a horse lover It'll probably be equestrian, but I want it to be horse sim. Like horse girl, but horse sim. Yeah, anyway. That's my dream. <laughs> that is my dream. I think the trade's gonna be equestrian though. Um, tummy time together. Keep going. Okay. Maybe horse sim could be the aspiration. You know? We'll see. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to the horse pack. Do I want to go on a date? No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. A new career would be lovely. Do you know what? I don't think there's gonna be a career like in the same sense that the other careers we have in the game are. I think that if there's a career, it would be more like, um, and not even an active career. It's more of like a lucrative skill. Cause I think that like you can make money from the competitions, you know? Um, so you could like be a career horse person horse sim and make money from winning competitions and and from like running your ranch and stuff but i think it's going to be more similar to like cottage living in that way where you like make money from the nectar and you make money from the horses but you don't make money from like a job job like the running your ranch is the job you know um okay i finished all of the things that i needed to with you so i'm gonna put you to bed and then i can help you later Go to bed. Go to bed. Yay. Okay. Or you could sell the horse poop. That's, I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, and then you could like set the job with the Ministry of Labor or something. Yeah, kind of like that. My cat is staring at the screen. She just watched my sim because I triple sped up and the sim like ran. She just watched it. Her eyes were like watching the sim. <laughs> Snap has really enjoyed watching my screen recently. She kind of goes through phases of caring and not caring about my game. But she's in a she's in a real Sims phase right now. I get it. Me too. Me too. I understand. Okay, do you have your skills yet? Did you not even finish getting your bath? I guess you only need like two more seconds of communication skill to age up, so we can get that probably. Snap's in her Sims fan era, yeah. <gasps> oh no! Oh no. We like channeled that. After a good long life filled with treats and scritches, Poutine has succumbed to old age and passed away. Uh oh. Okay, I'll get a new one. Well, we have been randomizing the names off the spreadsheet, so. <laughs> 
I guess we'll do that. Um, I guess we'll we'll randomize the names off the spreadsheet for the next one. Six hundred and thirty-four. All right. Pony, pony. Oh, not 1634. Sorry, 634. <laughs> Sorry to that person. Uh-oh, it's Saint. <laughs> the baby's name is Saint. I mean, the rat's name is Saint. Oh, sorry to 1634. Wrong name. Anyway, Saint. It is a rat baby. I have to go back and keep track of all of the rat's names because I didn't really do that. I need to make a list. Because I don't really, all I know is we had poutine. We had one called like Emma or something. I'd have to go back and check. If anybody remembered, because I don't have a name of the rats. I don't have a list of the rats. I didn't keep track of it. Um, and we've had, I think this might be the fourth one. I don't remember their names. If anybody else has watched the series recently and you remember, I would appreciate that. We had Muffin. Oh, did we? I think I remember that. Maybe I'll color the rats differently. Like, what if you're green for being a rat? That's muffins, plural. That's muffin. And we also had a rat named... No, what are you doing? We also had a rat named Poutine. Oh, see, that's bold. Because I never went in, like, made it green. Oh, we had Josie. That's right. I remember that. I remember that. No, it wasn't Josie, because Josie's on the list. Was Josie, maybe Josie was just like recommended to us from chat. Maybe I just like took someone out of chat and was like, that's you. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll reformat this later, but now we have a list. Sounds good. Oh, I didn't unpause it. No, so Luna, I used to delete the names once I used them, but that's a different spreadsheet. I This is the whole, this spreadsheet has all of the names, even the ones that we use, just highlighted instead, because I made it public instead. So I didn't, de I didn't delete anything off this one. This is the full thing. Before I was deleting them, but now I made it public and left them all, so. Um, I set up a spreadsheet that we could share that has them all on it, basically. Um, okay, kids asleep. Is your skill ready? Yes, I can age the toddler up now. All right, let's start there. Let's start there. Candles help from Rosa, please. Ready? Happy birthday! And your trait will be randomized in three, two, one. Oh, dog lover! See? If only we had a horse trait. <laughs> no more burger. Elsa, thank you for the subs, by the way. I really appreciate that. All right, can we add some birthday candles to this? Oh my. What are you sad about the rat? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> grades are up, grades are up, grades are up, grades are up. Oh my God. I can get rid of these teens. They both got A's in school. This one can become a teen. And the rest of you can't, okay? <laughs> okay, let's start with you, shall we? Add birthday candles, blow out candles, come on. Let's go. Thought it was a hamster. Oh, it's not a hamster. It's actually a void critter. Where is it? Oh yeah, see, it's up there. It's not actually a rat or a hamster. It's like a bubble something. But I like to call it a rat. <laughs> it isn't a rat. Okay, Onion has aged up and is a cat lover! Oh, see? That's lovely! Okay, you wanna get some food? Um, will I do a get rich quick with horses when they come out? Yeah, of course! I'll, I'll probably do it with horses, with horse poop, and with the nectar making. But I just haven't seen how it works yet, so I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm just, or and maybe like the goats and sheep as well. I don't know, we'll see. But it sounds like those might be solid options, so we'll see how that goes. Do you wanna blow out the candles? You're trying to get your fun up. 
Then you can shower afterward. You're exhausted. Why are you- wait, why are you sleeping in there? Okay, Lil aged up and is a maker! Okay. Graduate with honors. Add birthday candles back. Come on. You too! So they got an A in school, so I can age them up and move them out now, is how that works with the teens. So that's what I'm doing currently. <laughs> okay, you can take a shower also now. I'm trying to be fast with all the kids. Evil? Princess Peach is evil? Wow, okay. Yikes. Let me kick them out now. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What a turn for her to, to do that. No one recycles that much with good intentions. Okay, wow, what are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say? All right, let me kick them out. Um, do I have a house that has space for them? They might need to make a new one. Okay, new household of my own kids. Create a new household. Oh my god, look at how identical they are! Even down to the hair! Wait, can we go into cast and look at them? I didn't know it was they were that similar. We hadn't seen them as teens. They're twins, so it makes sense. Um, <laughs> but they're, they're like, longer. actually identical. This one's Princess Peach. And this one is Lil Dadzy. Wow. They're the same sim! Huh. Good for you. Moon, thanks for the two months. <laughs> Who's their parent? Um. Let me find out. Hold on. This is what the spreadsheet's for. Um, their parent is... Travis Scott. Interesting. The guy with the yellow hair from the base game. Here you go. Out. Um, and I will move you. How about you go live um, in Willow Creek? Can't afford this lot. Okay. Free real estate on. How about that? There you go. You might have zero simoleons, but... Wait, where do I live? San Sequoia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got myself lost there for a sec. <laughs> Lady, thanks for the 26 months, by the way. Waiting for a land grab or zest baby? I think I already had land grab babies, and I'm pregnant with Johnny's zest baby right now. But I'm pretty sure I already had land grab babies. I think. Yeah, I did. Number 16, Karen, was Jeffrey Landgrab's baby. Okay. Wow, we have, like, no sims. That's so weird. Um, well, do you want to just eat some food or something? I don't know. How are we all doing? Snappy, don't leave me. Where are you going? Are you going to sit in your chair? We'll see. We'll see. Um, you're exhausted. I guess if you wanted to, it might help me if you came and ate something. And then you could go to sleep. Snap! You wanna go to the chair? She's abandoning me. Let me get these two in the kids club. Let me kick out... Wait, did you... Are you already in there? Yeah. I need to kick out the um, older siblings, though. Wrong club! Oh my god. I don't really even use this club that much, to be honest. It's just like... Kind of nice to have. Look how many club points I have. <gasps> Wait. I got a logic boost. What else should I get? We have a homework boost. I already bought the focused club vibe. I don't even know what else I would need. I guess I can increase the club size again. I don't need that either. Um... Maybe we could get a boost to, like... Um, 
I don't know. Should we get a parenting boost? I don't even need like a mental skill boost because they already get like level 10 of everything, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have because I've got the points for it. And I've been trying to max wellness, so I get a wellness boost too. I don't cook, so I don't need that. She just scaled the side of the chair. Well, I thought I wanted her on the chair. I didn't know she was going to do that. <laughs> do you want to sleep? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me get my cat cam. One second. Let me turn my face cam off so I can get it. I don't, I hope she doesn't leave when I do this. Ready? Watch this. Cat cam. Face cam. I should move my baby count for this, huh? Okay, stay there, Snap. Sit down. Sleep. What are you doing? You want to go to sleep? I shouldn't look at her. She's going to come back over here. I can't make eye contact with her when I'm trying to get her to stay in her cat cam because then she leaves it. Come on, curl up. No, no, that's not. <laughs> what a lovely angle we have. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, snap. Yeah, she came over here. Come here, you can jump up. I knew I shouldn't have looked at her. I knew I shouldn't have looked at her. This is the problem. It's not a problem. I love her sitting with me. But I knew as soon as I made eye contact, I knew. I knew what I had done. Do you want to go back there? Look at how nice that chair is. Don't you like it? Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? It's okay. You don't have to. Hold on. Let me get the cat cam off again because... That was short-lived. <laughs> we tried, we tried. Just didn't work. It's fine. She does sit there a lot. Um, she just, at the moment, is preferring to sit on my desk. <laughs> Which I get, I understand, I'm glad. I like her being here. But I would also like it if she would sit in her chair so I could film her, you know? Okay, I might have to have twins because I'm going to get this kid onion aged up quite fast. Are we having twins? I'm going to regret that if I do. It's just one, but might have to have twins to fill the house back up. They're all going to be gone. We're only going to have three Sims in the house. Um, okay, um, after you finish working on that, we can go to sleep, yeah? Oh, and the kid's getting hungry. No, she, the thing is, Christine, she does sit there. It's just like, she keeps doing it when I'm not streaming. <laughs> like, I don't really need to do things to encourage her to sleep there more, because she does. It's just like, not in the three hour time span when I'm live today, you know? <laughs> so anyway, it's, it's fine. She does sit there, but. I can't force her. Oh. I can't force her. Okay. Bottle feed the baby. How are your milestones going? No first or fine motor. So I need to put you... Are you maybe smelly at all? No? I guess I can just put you here and let you work on your your uh, fine motor ones yourself. Dan died on Steven's stream? Uh-oh. Now we're all dead. I'm dead. He's dead. That's no good. Uh-oh. Should I try and make it be twins? I might regret this. Hi, Miv. <laughs> How are you doing, Miv? Um, go shower. They never sit where you want them to, when you want them to. Yeah, seriously, they have a mind of their own, don't they? Do you want to come play with this? Oh, you already got the reach milestone? Good job, kid. Keep it up. 
Play with toys. Come on. Got the coup milestone unlocked too? You're doing great, little one. I'm very impressed. Okay, um, what are you doing? Project, project. This one's not even yours. Might need to buy another one. What happened to Dan and Steven's stream? Cause I died from overheating when Shella did. Me and her both died at once. What happened to Dan? My friend Spring Sims is doing a Sims Unpaused stream. Oh, he died in a fire? Yikes. Well, rip Dan, I guess. <laughs> You're emotionally recovering from Among Us as always. Do you know what, Miv? I actually did a lot better yesterday than I did last time I played Among Us. Last time, mentally, I was not well. Yesterday, I did better. Because last time, I'm serious, I was, like, about to cry the entire time. Like, I was really not doing well. But I think that, like, for all of May, I was not well. So that, like, contributed to it. I was just unwell in May. Um, <laughs> and so I'm not really surprised by that, you know? And I was only imposter once yesterday, so that helped too. Because I wasn't, like, constantly having to, I don't know. And I, I think I did a good job when I was imposter the one time, which made me feel better. But yeah, May was just a lot for me. So, I was a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, Shella got so many imposter rounds. It's funny how that works out, right? Like, how I only got it once, but she got it like five times and stuff. Um, but me and Steven, I thought, did a pretty good job with our imposter rounds, so. Yay. <laughs> You're still riding the high of killing three times before a meeting was called. That was impressive, honestly, Miv, that that happened. And no, we didn't play hide and seek yesterday. No. Um, but anyway. <laughs> when Dan killed me and I said divorce. <laughs> well, I think that's grounds for a divorce. Are you kidding? Always suspect Shella. Shella is always, always guilty I fear always she can't be trusted she just can't okay you're gonna use the bathroom and eat you're actually doing quite well can you get a divorce if you're already dead okay no <laughs> you threatened divorce last week because your husband wouldn't make you coffee that sounds perfectly reasonable and i'm sure you were serious when you said that <laughs> what a what a perfectly reasonable conclusion to jump to you know <laughs> okay are you gonna come eat come on get some food i guess the kid is almost ready to age up though because it's got all the milestone categories except it needs a bath wait don't eat Let's give the child a bubble bath, yeah? Um, okay. Come on. How pregnant are you? Third trimester in 11 hours. Okay, we have to decide who the next parent is gonna be tomorrow and then get pregnant in the morning. We talked about having kids with, um, with Brent, potentially, um, I don't know. Oh, Justin might be an option. Mateo. We can add a few of these people into the household. Oh, never mind. Club's full. <laughs> Club's full. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um, are you gonna finish bathing the baby so I can get my milestones and then age it up? Yay! Okay, so I've been aging up infants when they get two milestones in every category, which we have. I've not been bothering with the life category because I feel like that's kind of stupid. Like, being born counts as one, so I just don't, I don't bother with that. But the other ones you actually have to, like, work on to get them. So I've been trying to get two in each except for the life one, which I feel like makes sense. Um, and now that I have that, I can age the infant up. Yeah, we had, I think we had twins with Vlad. 
if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, all right, let's age the kid up, shall we? Oh, is that the only one in that category for infants anyway? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Silly, that's a good trade. I can respect that. Add birthday candles, come on. Um, you are exhausted, so you can just go put yourself to sleep, yeah? Your fun is low. Do you wanna go play with this for a second? And then you can go to sleep? And then you can go to sleep after you finish your homework. Um, so she's not gonna become a, she's only a young adult cast. So we have a long time until we have to worry about uh, getting a new mother for this. Um, in an ideal world, I won't have to have a different parent, um, but I might also want to for fun, switch it up. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but um, she's only a, She's only a young adult. Um, and no, aging isn't off, Cordelia, but your sims don't age when they're pregnant. So um, a lot of, at this point, a lot of her kids are probably older than her because her kids are still aging and she doesn't because she's constantly pregnant. So tomorrow we're gonna give birth in game and I'm gonna immediately try and get pregnant again, like as fast as physically possible. Um, so that way we don't continue to age. Does that make sense? Um, cause that way she, cause she has like quite good skills and stuff. Um, so I want her to stay alive. I'm gonna feed the cow plant. I'm also gonna feed the tree and clean the habitat and then I'll go to sleep. We're currently pregnant with Johnny Zest's baby. Maybe Johnny Zest's babies, plural? Yeah, it's gonna be twins. Um, which normally I wouldn't want, but I'll allow this time. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, we normally would not, I don't even want to have twins. Should I, should I not do that? Am I going to regret having twins? <laughs> you say uh a lot. Okay, Tori, so can I give you a little piece of advice? Um, just for like general uh, interacting with people advice. It's not a nice thing to point out to people, like pointing out them using filler words and stuff. Uh, it's just mean. So there's no need to do that, especially when people are streaming and stuff, because I'm talking for three hours straight. Like I'm gonna use filler words in between my sentences because this isn't like a scripted thing, you know? So it's so normal. Everybody does it. It's really okay. <laughs> it's really okay. And it's kind of it's kind of hurtful to point out and make fun of people for. So try not to do that to people in the future, especially in person, you'll like really offend somebody. So I'm good. I've seen it all. I get so many mean comments. That's like a nothing. One, I'm just telling you, don't say that to people. There's no, there's no need to do that. So, supernatural way of speaking, especially when you're, again, talking for three hours straight, you know? Your streams aren't scripted? Yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> they aren't. Hey, Mana Space, uh, Pig, and Festering, and Jules, and Riley, and Mana, and Songbird, and Kira, thank you for the subs. <sighs> anyway. You are awake at 3 a.m. and fully rested. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's get some food then. And then I guess you can go work on a school project <laughs> at three in the morning. I can't believe they're not scripted. <laughs> you say, okay, so it's filler a lot. Yeah, I say a bunch of things like that. So anyway, no, not you, Tori, <laughs> not you. Someone else, don't worry. It's okay, you didn't do anything wrong. Different, there's more than one person with that name. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I did check on the rat, don't worry. I took care of the rat and the cow plant overnight, so they're fine. They're all good. Hurry up, save the game. So this morning, who did we decide on having a kid with? <sighs> How about Justin? Well, Justin is married. I do have amazing compatibility with, hmm. Mateo's only engaged, right? I have amazing compatibility with all of them. That makes life easy. Maybe I'll do Mateo. Oh, it's 3 a.m. I'll wait until the morning. We'll get to all of them eventually. It's just like, who's gonna be first, you know? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, since when has marriage bothered you? It doesn't, it's more of just like a, would it be easier to do someone who's unmarried? 
I don't know why Brant is in a weenie costume. I, I have no idea. Um, I think it's Brent, actually, but I don't- yeah, it's Brent. I don't know why he's in a weenie costume, he just is. I couldn't answer that question. <laughs> I guess he wanted to be? I don't know. He's- he's cosplaying Stanley Humphrey or something. Alright, Mateo, come on over. Come on over. Hopefully I can get you to have a B in school today. And I'll get this Sim H up and moved out also. Okay. Leave the kicks alone. C doesn't want me to have a kid with, with Brent. I like that he's in a weenie costume, but I understand. I understand. Um, I get it. I totally get it. Um, I'm trying to get the spreadsheet ready for us here, because we're gonna... Well, I guess we aren't gonna have the kid yet, are we? We're only in our third trimester now, right? Oh no, in three hours. Oh, we're not quite there yet. We have some time. <laughs> it is Pride Month. We can't kill Bren. We can't do that. No, I would never see if I can't have them in my in my basement, I wouldn't I wouldn't kill them. Or I wouldn't I wouldn't have kids with them. I just like that he was in a weenie costume. But it's okay. I can spare him. It's fine. Um, would you like to use the bathroom and eat some food? But yeah, in in my opinion, if they don't go in the basement, then why even bother? Right? Can you use the bathroom and take care of your needs, actually? Because your fun's a little bit low. Uh-oh. Come on, use the bathroom. Be fast. How are you doing? You're pretty much fine. You're pretty much fine. You're still asleep. Is he over here yet? Did I invite him over yet? I don't think I did. Mateo! Maybe he was still asleep. He's coming over. Here we go. So, I can't get pregnant yet, but I like to be sort of fast about, um, romancing people, just so that way when the time comes and I do give birth, I'm ready to immediately get pregnant again. So I like to, you know, flirt with him a little bit before I need to woohoo with him. So that way I'm ready. Is usually how I go about it. So <laughs> it's not time yet. We still have some time until we give birth, but I just want to get this ready. You know? Um, offer a rose, maybe? Do it a couple times, how about that? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, Mystic, if you ever have a message get picked up by the auto mod thing and it says it's against the channel's moderation settings and you don't know what it is, feel free to ask us. Sometimes even we don't know what it is because Twitch blocks some things that I didn't add to the block term list. So you're never in trouble when that happens. I We can't even see your message when, you, um, when that happens, so don't worry, you aren't in trouble. But if you want to know, we can look at it and try and figure it out. Um, chances are, I'm gonna guess that maybe you tried to say pregnant. Um, and my mods and I have the word pregnant blocked from my chat because I got so sick of people telling me that I was pregnant when I am not, um, that I blocked it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I could unblock it because we are playing the baby challenge. It's just annoying. But yeah, that's probably what it is. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I could probably unblock it. It's just, there was a period of time where I was, like, so fed up with it that I really, really could not deal. So, anyway. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Where did Mateo go? Is he still here? Oh, there he is. Um, yep, that was it. Yeah, yeah, I figured. <laughs> You're expecting twins and they're due in December. Well, congratulations! Congratulations, that's so exciting. Um, sorry that I blocked that word. <laughs> I just got- I was so over it. These- these people, I'd be like, oh my god, I kind of have a headache today, and they'd be like, why? Is it because you're pregnant? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Anyway, I just like- I was so- it's so annoying, so... <laughs> anyway, very inappropriate of them to do, but whatever, it's fine. Um, it's fine. I think a lot of them are children. Um, maybe they don't- but not all of them. Not all of them. So maybe they don't realize, but anyway. 
Um, let's go play inside the tent, please. Um, oh no. Oh no. I think it also, yeah, you're right, Christine. There was a big uptick in it once Dan moved to the US. Um, and I, I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm not, I won't be, so <laughs> I just want to be left alone. Um, okay. Would you like to send him away? No, take a photo with him first and then send him away. Cause we will get pregnant with his baby later. Come on. Come on. Your best friend had a baby this morning. Oh, that's exciting, Cordelia. Congrats to your friend. Oh, that's so cool. Babies are so weird. There's a new human all of a sudden. Can you believe that? I bet you're so excited for your friend. That's so cool. Um, this baby number, wait. I'm not gonna, actually, I won't name this yet. I'll just leave it, because I don't know how many kids we're gonna have. So I'll, I'll wait to name it. Because I think Johnny's actually gonna be 34 and 35. So I'll, I'll hold off. She was born eight minutes after arriving at the hospital? Ooh! Eight? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That baby was ready. She said, get me out of here. You know what? Nothing if not efficient. Good for her. Good for her. She was ready. <laughs> the kid was in a rush. Oh, that would have freaked me out if that happened to me. Ooh, okay. Well, good timing, I guess. Um, okay. Well, Mateo, you could probably leave because I don't need you until tomorrow. He says congratulate on engagement. Enthuse about his upcoming wedding. I'm not sure his fiance will be so pleased. Um, because he just cheated on her, but. Your sister was born when the doctor was still in the hallway, but at least it was longer than eight minutes. Oh no. Your husband's mom's labor was 12 minutes start to finish. That's wild. It's amazing how different it is for some people because some people will labor for like 40 hours or something horrible like that, you know? Ooh. I don't like thinking about it. it. Freaks me out. I'm scared of babies. Um, okay. What do you want to do? I guess you can't do much except maybe paint or something. Let's get a move on. Oh, do you know what you could do? Actually, go meditate. Get it together. I'm scared of babies. Does the 100 baby challenge? Yeah. Why do you think I feel that way? No, I'm scared of real life babies too. Makes me nervous. Ugh. Okay, stop that. You got your skill up. Would you like to? I guess your social is low. Maybe you could go talk to this bear. How about that? Babble at the bear, come on. They're like little aliens. They are! Babies are weird. As she was meditating, Rosa had a sudden flash of insight and realized that true happiness comes from within. Honestly, that's beautiful. I'm... Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That was really insightful. Wow. <laughs> My cat is still here, by the way. She's laying across the desk. Here's her tail, proof. But she's been here. She's hanging out. My cat is thriving, actually. Okay, do you want to hug the bear a few times? Try and get level three? Come on. Not the tail for proof? Yeah, well, proof of cat, see? Level three, oh, that was easy. Okay, now you need to do your movement skill next. Which should also be not that difficult. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Rob, Danielle, Kim, Nurse, thank you for the subs. 
Just got here, what's up? Oh, we're playing the 100 baby challenge. It's all very chaotic. Um, do you wanna try and do some cooking? Maybe you could work on your cooking skill. Just as like a fun way to pass the time. Cause we have no other reason to be, I've got level nine. We can try and get it maxed, how about that? Yeah, my house is on the gallery. I've posted a few variants. I, I uploaded this version of the gallery last week though, so it should be up there kind of recent. Um, I have to get the mail too. I'll have presents in the mail. That'll be fun. She gains the cooking skill so fast. Oh my goodness. Movement level two. Okay, the kids are home from school. What do we got? Grades are up. Grades are up. Yes. All right, you're an A student, you're an A student, C student, and you're a toddler, okay. I can age up two of them. I can get rid of one of the teens. Yes. All right, happy birthday to you. Time to blow out the candles. You can feed the cow, oh, I guess, I guess your mom's gonna do it, so never mind. I don't need you to. Let's get you aged up. So once they have an A in school, we can age up, so. Things are going quite well, actually, for us. Here, do you want to come play on this to get your skill up and your fun up at the same time? <laughs> Happy birthday! Thomas is a dance machine. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that. Add birthday candles. Your fun is like so low as well. Okay, watch TV. Your fun is low, but you're gonna move out today, so I'm not that worried about that, actually. Because now that you have an A in school as a teen, I can move you out. <sighs> all right, not bad. Not bad, team. Not bad at all. Blow candles. Yes, jealous. Okay, my Sim Onion is lazy, a cat lover, and jealous. <laughs> Perfect. Can you add birthday candles to that? Okay, let me kick him out. You're so hungry, you want your tacos? I understand, Christine. I'm kind of hungry too. Not too much longer until dinner time, it's okay. Um, let me kick you out with your siblings. Don't worry, I just fed the cow plant. I don't need a cow plant check, chat, don't worry. We literally just fed the cow plant, so all is well. Bye. Look at all my, my previous children. <laughs> it's kind of fun. You want cookies? Oh, maybe I'll bake something tonight. I haven't baked in a while. That could be fun. Maybe I'll do that. Good idea. No, actually, I don't want to. Never mind. Maybe tomorrow I'll bake something. <laughs> I'm like, actually, no. <laughs> maybe another time. Well, I think about it. No, I don't feel up to it tomorrow. That was short-lived, okay. Anyway, how pregnant are you? You're in your third trimester. I think she'll give birth tonight. At least I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Can you clean this? All right, and your social is low. Ooh. It's rare that that happens to me. With this many Sims? Baking stream someday? Oh, I've done quite a few baking streams in the past. I like a baking stream, it's kind of fun. Get up. Talk to your mom. Leftovers. You can like affection, that's cute. Okay, get leftovers. Good. Good, perfect. And then after that, I guess you could go work on a project. Can you finish this project? I'm sorry, but that would really help me if you did. How long am I gonna stream? Um, probably until about seven. I usually stream for about three hours every night, so. I should be here until about seven. Oh no, So. No, Gabby, me and Dan aren't caught up on Love Island yet. We're getting there, but me and Dan are not quite caught up on Love Island yet. Um, Cause we didn't watch it for like, a week and a half straight because he was in uh, at his friend's bachelor party and then we went to VidCon and stuff and I was not capable of staying up late enough to watch an hour of Love Island after I got back from VidCon. So anyway, we're still catching up. 
the last three days I've watched two episodes a night, which is a lot of Love Island. Like a lot of Love Island. So. <laughs> yeah, so Rock, I usually click on Sims when I'm switching depending on um, how I'm playing. You can press space to like filter through the Sims. My cat is blocking my keyboard right now, so uh, it's like easier for me to keep my hand on my mouse than reach over and press space. But yeah, you can press space to switch between them. Um, so, anyway, I just don't always do that. Would you like to get some leftovers, please? Good. I want her to give birth, but I don't know how much longer it's gonna take. I'm hoping that we're gonna have up to 35 babies today and then pregnant with 36. Yeah, I'm live, I'm live at this time every day except Wednesdays. I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. I'm usually live at four o'clock Eastern time in the afternoon. Um, and on Wednesdays, I stream at nine, stream at 9 a.m. Eastern time, so. Okay. I think the male probably just has from an adoring fan. Oh my god, my first ever fan mail. Let me, oh, and I think I got some of these too, look. Let me sell this random stuff. We have um, inspired potion, a focus potion. I got fan mail. Repeat after me. You are one of the best celebs in the world. I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> And we also have these uh, toys as well. Birthday gifts for the children. Oh, it's Alice. I don't really want to talk to her because I previously had a child with and then murdered her husband. So I would prefer to not interact with her if possible. <laughs> You see nothing wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, I, you know, nothing to see here. Just don't let her in the basement. Yeah, yeah, as long as she doesn't go in the basement, it's fine. I'll just keep her out of the basement and we'll be okay. Okay, let's get these kids ready to age up. Who sends you mail and why? Oh, she got fan mail, cause she's a very, whoa. Whoa, she got fan mail cause she's a very famous artist. She's like level three star celebrity very famous artist. She's getting quite good at meditating. Look at that. Very impressive. I wanted her to max the skill so that she can teleport. Okay, time for you to eat food and go to bed. Um, use the bathroom. Get some leftovers. Go to sleep. That's from spa day. Um, it's the wellness skill, so it's the same skill as yoga. She just can't do yoga because she's always pregnant. Is that? Paparazzi in my backyard? No. 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 At my house? With my children here? I don't know how he even got there. It's okay, I deleted him, it's fine. Okay, level three of the movement skill. That's what I needed. I can age the toddler up now. Um, would you like to open? Help blow out candles for the baby, please. Not bad. We did that pretty quickly. Child of the ocean. All right. Whoa, I like your haircut. You're cool. Um, you can take a shower, and then how about you go to bed? Can you add some birthday candles to this? Don't take a piece! Don't take a piece! Don't take a piece! Don't take a piece! Oh my god, I keep clicking it. I need to add birthday candles. I don't like them to, um, eat the cake. I want to keep using the same cake over and over and over again, so. Okay. Are we good then? I guess you're gonna try and finish that. You can go to bed after you finish eating. Oh my gosh, my cat is being so cute, but I actually cannot use my keyboard. <laughs> she is she is completely across my keyboard. It's okay. It's okay. Um You're exhausted. Your hygiene's low. Do you have to finish it right now or are you fine? I guess you could go. You don't have to finish it. Cake will get old? Well, yeah, Missy, but we have a long time until it spoils. 
Um, we can usually age up like 10 kids with it before it spoils, so. Um, no, why, why try to put you to bed in there? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, everyone to bed. Yeah? Are we good after this? Come on. Bedtime. Yeah, the cake's probably nasty because I've used it so many times, but that's okay. Well, I made that cake only like two days ago, so it's not too bad. The cake's not that old. Um, I don't know if you can use a spoiled cake. I don't know if you can- ah, I went into labor. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can add birthday candles to a spoiled cake again. Um, can you not give birth yet? Can you sleep it off a little bit longer until the morning? I'm sorry, that's pretty bad of me, but I would like it if you slept it off, because that way, um, I could get pregnant sooner. Like, after the, you know, when it's the morning, I can call up Johnny, so. Or not, well, I can't call up Johnny, he's dead. I have to call up who? Mateo, maybe? Yeah. So just stay in bed until about 5 a.m., if possible. Yeah. Just sleep off the labor. It's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, I'm giving birth. Okay. I, in fact, could not sleep it off. Okay. First baby. So, we have a spreadsheet, obviously, of all of the baby names uh, that were suggested by people who donated to our St. Jude fundraiser. Um... And so we're going to name the baby one of these names uh, using a random number generator. So the baby will be named number 1560. Okay. Pookie is the baby's name. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, I didn't name one Poopy. I don't think so. Oh, and it's twins. Okay. Um, and the next one will be named 1535 Clay. That's a nice name. That's a real name. <laughs> okay. Pookie and Clay are the babies. Not triplets. Thank God. <laughs> okay. That was scary. Let me add those names to the list. Oops, wrong thing. Let me get these names on the... Ah! Sorry. There we go. Number 36 is going to be with who? Mateo. Um, and that won't have a name yet because it's not born. Um, okay. Well, I can't call him up because it's like the middle of the night, so that's inconvenient. Uh, put you over here, put you over here. What, are you standing up? Do you want to see the babies? No, you want to scratch your ear. Okay. That too. <laughs> that too. Sure. Come on. Feed baby. I guess I could maybe start a gathering. Do you think he'll come over so I can try for a baby? That would really, really, I would appreciate that, to be honest. Oh, cow plant's hungry. Okay, I'll feed the cow plant, and then I will take care of the babies. The infants do make this a lot more difficult. Yeah, for sure. For sure. No, they're not coming over. I might have to wait until the morning. That's very inconvenient, honestly, for her to give birth in the middle of the night. So... It's okay. Oh, when I can up the baby count to 35. Yes. In my stream title as well. We're over a third of the way done. Sort of. Except I have to actually have 124 babies, so not really. <laughs> I actually have to have 124 babies. Stop screaming! Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Because I promised I would restart. So I have to go to 124. Are you leaving me? No! Why? Cat dished me. Anyway, I promised I would restart if we reached $500,000 raised for St. Jude. Because I didn't think we would. And then we did. So, I have to go 
a hundred past what I had when that happened. So we have to have 124. Yeah, Mateo is sleeping still. The crying scared her? Well, she couldn't hear the crying. It's only in my headphones. It's nice and peaceful and quiet for Snap right now. Everything's great for her. She's just fine. Okay. Please stop crying. I cannot deal with it. <laughs> Harvest Fest? You're going to school, right? Yeah, okay. It's like you have to go to school. You can't not go to school. Let me call him up. What if I just called Mateo up? Still sleeping? Oh my god, get it together. <sighs> okay. You're really delaying my ability to get pregnant. Now it's two days till I age up instead of three. Will he wake up at seven? Come on. Get over here. Okay, 6.30 is what I had to wait for. That's fine. I can do that. Um, let's kiss his hands and then I'll try for a baby. Yeah? Snap is now sitting on the floor. So, I don't know if she's gonna sit on her cat cam spot, but we can, we can dream. Okay, the kid's crying. That's no good. Can you change the dirty diaper? That would really help me, actually. You're fine. You need a shower. Oh, no. And we've got school soon! Oops. Okay, send the kids alone. Off you go. Hopefully you'll get A's in school. Study hard. Study hard, study hard, okay. Would you care to take a pregnancy test, maybe? Also, wait, I guess I'll leave the online line. Oh, I'm pregnant, uh-oh. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Now I can kill him. How should I kill him? What are our thoughts on that? Yeah, there is a gnome blocking the front door. I saw it. <laughs> this is baby number 36 with Mateo. Um, I think him being embarrassed would be funny. I saw somebody say that. Okay, let me save the game quickly and then I'll kill him. And then I'll kill him. <laughs> Do I have any rabbits? No, unfortunately not. Um, no, we're gonna get the wishing well eventually, but not yet, because I don't have enough money to fully decorate it the way I want to. I'm just gonna kill him with this. I think maybe- oh, what if we electrocute him? This will be fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all of the names for the kids are suggested by people who donated to my fundraiser last month. Um, so there's a very wide variety of names. We had a kid named, like, Meatball. And then a kid named somebody's grandma. And then, you know, we've, it's been a, um, yeah. A very interesting collection of names has been used. Okay, hurry up. I'm gonna age these kids up now. Baby care, age up. Yay! Oh, I had a kid named Taco Bell and Starbucks. That was a weird one, because I randomized the names with a random number generator, and we had twins named Taco Bell and Starbucks. Two people separately suggested, like, fast food themed <laughs> names, and they both got picked randomly with a number generator. Together, which was kind of weird, but also funny. So. Okay. Congratulations. We now have a baby that is sensitive. I relate to that, actually. Okay. Let's go carry you there. And then we'll get started from there, yeah? Come on. Carry the baby. Come on. Come on. 
We've done quite well. Didn't we have 32 babies when we started? So we've we've had three babies today. And Toe was only a newborn when we started. So we've kind of had like four babies today. Stop crying. Stop crying and get taken to your crib. Come on. Oh my god, I hate you. Get carried here. There we go. All right, good job, buddy. Look at your toys. We'll get that started. And then you can like super efficient baby care this one. And then we'll age it up. There we go. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Age the kid up. This game causes me so much stress. Does anybody else have that feeling? What are you doing? Come here. No, you can't have a kid with the Grim Reaper. It won't work. Um, come on, age up. There we go. Don't chat, age up. Okay. Clay is intense. Because of course, of course. Why not? Of course. Okay, you, my dear, I need to cancel all of these and then have you play with toys. So that way you can um, hopefully get your skill ready. And I'm gonna have you, once the kid's in there, I'm gonna have you queue up a whole bunch of tummy time interactions. I hate having twins. I regret this, to be honest. But I wanted to replenish the household, so. Okay. <laughs> Stacey Witchy Basil, thank you for the subs. It's your first stream, Sharks. Well, hey, welcome in. I'm glad you can make it. That's so exciting. What a stressful stream to arrive in first <laughs> as we're playing the 100 baby challenge and I'm like constantly on edge. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, replenish the household. Yeah, and maybe it's a weird way to describe it, but I stand by it. <laughs> I stand by it. Yeah, I need to turn the lot trade off so that I don't have twins again. I, want, I left it on while I was trying for a baby just because then I would get the bonus fertility, but she shouldn't have twins. And if she does, I'm gonna cheat them away, to be honest. I sort of don't want twins. What are you doing here? Oh, because of the club gathering still. Yikes. I don't really want you here. Can you leave, Onion? Awkward. Awkward. Let me triple check the pregnancy. Yeah, it's just one. That's fine. That's fine. Simsy's a dirty cheater? No, oh, I pulled my headphones out. Oh my God, I just like kicked the cord. Hold on. That's awkward. I fixed, wait. I have a very long headphone cord. Oh, it's also tangled. Wait, let me fix that. Um, I have a very long headphone cord. I don't need to use these headphones with a cord. They're wireless, but I don't know how to use wireless headphones with my mixer. Um, so, hence the very long cord. <laughs> and I was sitting with my legs up in my chair and I like got my leg tangled in it and pulled it out. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, how are you doing? You're getting tired and your attention is low. Grab milestone unlocked, okay, good. Maybe I could put you, how about this? I'm gonna feed this one. And then I'm gonna put it to bed. Yeah. So that we can maybe try and stagger them a little bit. Cause I feel like that's a good way for us to go about this. I don't know. I don't know. It's not Logitech's fault, Elme. It's just, I don't know how to use, um, a Go XLR with my mixer that I have. I don't know how to use it with wireless headphones. I think it's possible, but I don't know how to do it. And um, frankly, I don't care enough. Like I'm fine having wired headphones, so 
um, doesn't bother me. <laughs> but anyway, I've always had wired headphones, so it's like not a problem. It's um, oh. But anyway, it's easier this way too, because I switch between headphones that I'm using and stuff, so it's fine. I don't mind. Right. I don't mind. Yeah, I don't want that latency. Uh huh, that's the reason. Yeah. Exactly. Um, can you put me to bed? Please. Please. You want Grenadier, but you also want the horse pack. You don't know what to get. Do you know what? If I were you, I would hold off and because it's hard to recommend like one of those things to you because we don't have either of them yet, you know? So if I were you, I think I'd probably recommend that you um, wait until the horse pack comes out and see. Because you might think that you like one of them better once you've actually seen the horse pack. It's hard to like decide that you want to buy it over something else without actually seeing it yet, you know? Um, well, yeah, and if it's wired, I don't need to charge them. Exactly, exactly. I don't need to charge them because they're plugged in, because they're wired, which is also a benefit. Feed the rat, please. Oh. The rat does need food, that's correct. I'll have the kids do it when they get home. They'll be home any second. A B in school, uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you didn't get your grades up? Yikes. <laughs> Awkward. Yikes, I didn't try hard enough last night. You're a B student, you're a C student, okay. Let's get to work. Is this your project? No. Go do your projects. You can work on that after. Okay. Okay. You know what, chat? I kind of need to go to the bathroom. Maybe I'll take a little BRB. I'll be... Oh, do I have my break scene still? <gasps> I do. Okay, how about this? I have um, I have a little... Um, I have a little break scene. I might run to the bathroom and play the highlight reel for you for a couple minutes. Oh, sorry. For a couple minutes. Um... And then I'll be right back in like literally two minutes. Maybe I'll run an ad while I'm gone too, so you don't miss anything, because the ads run on their own. So if I run it now, I can delay it longer. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna be right back. How about that? One second, let me play my break scene. Okay, bye. You know, I'm getting real oh, sick and tired of this. Oh, that was cute, Snap. Thank you. <laughs> when do you think you will retire, Kayla? I'm 23. But you want me gone? <laughs> Maybe he won't recognize me in the rain. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. He's on the floor. They fixed the price of the Bigfoot stuffy? <gasps> no! 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 The pack is ruined! Oh my god! Inflation strikes again! How could they go and do that? So when we're in the realm, we're the same size as Buddy and Wuss? As <laughs> Woody and Buzz? I don't think you can hashtag booty in the description. I don't think that that- I don't think that that will let us upload it. I was holding onto the handrail and I wasn't even going fast. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I didn't emotionally prepare you for that. Oh, it's on. Camera's on. <laughs> there are already babies, so why are you so excited? Bestie. No, hang on. There are not already babies. Not like this. Babies are stuck in a box. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you want to play with this, the dolls? Did you see that? Rick roll me daddy. Dollar. <laughs> I think we are Rick rolling people right now, aren't we? I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know! I, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Is it this one? <gasps> oh my god! That just got all of us. <gasps> Nobody wins! Oh my god! Rounded tower? No, friend. I... Look, round, it's it's all fun and games until you actually try and make a rounded house and suddenly it's not fun or games anymore. Hello? Tyler, can you hear us? Hello? Oh my gosh, can you hear? Somebody can yeah, hear I me. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, oh, who is cackling in there? Who is cackling? Oh, 
Okay. There's also some baby teeth that you can pick from. Ah! What is that? Even my cat turned around to look. Oh my god. Well, why did you do that? Why did you pee on the floor? Did you poop on the floor? It wasn't worth it from lactose intolerant trait? Did you poop on the floor because you ate dairy? I like that highlight reel. Hold on, my hair's messed up. I like that highlight reel. <laughs> I think it's fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. It was it was longer than two minutes. Let the whole thing finish playing. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. And now we're back and I have to play with the stupid challenge again. I managed to prolong my time of not playing with infants, but here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Oh no, the stream's not over. I just took a break to go to the bathroom mushroom, so I, I have a highlight reel that I can play when I'm not actively sitting at my desk, you know? Um, which is what that was. I also realized that I didn't turn the um, St. Jude donation bar off on that slide, so it just had that up on the top of the screen the whole time. <laughs> but I didn't, I just was like, oh, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back we go. We got stuff to do. Places to be, babies to raise. Anyway. Yeah, the Rick Astley clip's a little bit quiet in that one, but he said, um, he said Rick rolled me daddy. So. Anyway. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't put it there on purpose. I just, I didn't turn it off because I forgot that it was still on there. And then I was like, whatever, I'll just run downstairs. So. Anyway. Anyway. You're getting your fun back up. You could probably go take care of your things now. You're working on this. You're the one who needs it the most. And I have two infants! Oh no. It's fine. This is fine. I'm gonna get the kids like so ready to age up so fast. I'm not even worried about it. Where is Rick? Oh, I um, I only take my Rick Ashley cardboard cutout out on special occasions. So he's he's not out right now because it's um it's just a random day. <laughs> it's just a random Friday. But uh, on special occasions, like when we do the charity streams and stuff, um, I would take Rick out. Does that make sense? That's kind of my thought process, though. What are we playing tomorrow? We're gonna play Sims tomorrow. I think I'm gonna build in the Sims tomorrow, though. I'm not sure what yet. Part of me kind of wants to build um, maybe the bar for university. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of inspired to build like a giant farm and pretend that I have horses that can live on it. But that's a little bit ridiculous. Like I could also just wait a couple weeks and then build a real horse farm. But I do feel a little um, like I would like to build a farm. So I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out tomorrow and we'll build something tomorrow. <laughs> but I, I do have this desire to like pretend to build a farm that can have horses, even though we don't have them. <laughs> it's like how when infants were coming out, I kept building fake nurseries because I wanted them so bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a new shell challenge? Oh, maybe we can do a shell challenge next week. Um, let me look at my schedule really quick. Maybe we could do a shell challenge like... Um, maybe next Tuesday. That could work. No, Travis, I will not be your girlfriend. Ick. Ick. Stay away from me. Okay. Um. Oh, it's Tuesday the 4th of July. Ick. <laughs> Ick. Okay, well, it's not celebrating that. Let's just make that clear. It's just for fun. <laughs> Ick. <laughs> um, a puzzle shell? Ooh, we could do it as a puzzle. We haven't done a puzzle shell in a long time. That might be kind of fun, to be honest. Um, mental level nine? Oh my god. You still haven't gotten your thingy. I need you to get one more milestone, kid. Get it together. Get it together. 
Hmm. Puzzle tell seems scary. I wouldn't make a scary one, Panthers. I'd try to make a more simple puzzle, I think. But I don't know. Oh, there you go. Good job, kid. That's what I wanted you to do. Now I can feed you and stuff. And feed myself. <laughs> um, let's let's eat. Not always does make you anxious. I know. Fireworks are scary for so many reasons. I don't like it either. I don't like it at all. Um, would you like to? Did you finish eating? No, you didn't. Why? Baby care, feed, bottle feed. How about that? If I bottle feed, then I can sell the bottle. Oh, cause he won't take the bottle, cause you're a picky eater. Oh my god, I hate you. No, you're joking. I actually cannot deal with that. Please, please, please. I cannot deal with this. I do not have the like, but I just can't, I just can't. I would rather quit the Sims than deal with this right now. Okay, it worked that time. Now I can put you to bed, how about that? Get put to bed by Rosa. You're gonna need to get taken care of in a second too, but she needs to eat first. Fourth of July is just a regular day for you because you're not American. Well, there you go. I don't like it. I don't like the fireworks holidays because it scares my cat. And that makes me feel really bad and so guilty. So I don't, I don't like them. Although I will say my house here is a little bit better insulated than my townhouse used to be. My townhouse, I'm telling you, the walls were made of paper. They were like this thick. You could hear everything, everything. If a person was talking outside, I could hear everything. Like it was so bad. So it was worse in the townhouse and Snap's hearing is not so good now. So over the years, I think that she might not be as bad this year because the house like will block the noise a bit better and she doesn't hear as well anymore. So maybe she won't be as scared. How old is she? She's 15, she's 15. Um, she just turned 15, like, a couple weeks ago, so, anyway. Poor Snappy. <laughs> Snap is not old, she is wise. Yes, yes, sorry. She's not old, she's wise. There you go. Can you eat so I can take care of the baby? Just stop, just stop. Hurry up, eat fast, okay. Okay. Um, I will baby care... I'll feed you, and then I'll take care of you. Um, okay, come on. Feed baby, I'll put you down and I'll do tummy time with you. Sounds good. And then, oh, you're mad because I put you down. Great, just great. Let's do tummy time, come on. I only need to get one more milestone for this. I mean, I have a few more that I need total, but... Oh, no, you have no gross motor milestones yet. Oh. Okay. And you have both of them. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Has doing this challenge helped you learn how to survive with infants? No, I would say, listen, I think that this challenge has given me, um, sort of a method for dealing with infants in my regular saves. So I feel like at the end of the day, it's probably been for the best. Cause I, I think that I'm like better at having infants now, you know? Um, do you want to cook a grand meal of some tofurkey for everybody? How is your energy low when I had you sleeping for ages? What do you mean? <sighs> what? My game is broken. My game's broken. I'm going to manage worlds. Uh oh. Your town just outlawed fireworks? Oh really? Do you know what? I'm actually glad to hear that. There's so many reasons the fireworks are bad. So I'm actually glad to hear that. Um, for, for humans, for pets, it's just not, 
I don't know. Do you know what I learned recently that I didn't know that I find kind of horrifying? And I don't have any evidence to back this up. I just think that it must be bad. But there's no way it's okay. The Disney Cruise Line, like the Disney cruise ships, do a like fireworks show at sea. Surely that's bad. Like surely that's not good to have the like the fireworks just going into the water. Like Right? I mean, I know fireworks are bad on land, obviously, but people still do them. But it's like, surely it's not good. Anyway, I don't have any evidence about that. I just assume that it's not good and I don't like it. <laughs> They're ocean safe fireworks. But what does that mean? What, what, is, what is an ocean safe firework? I've never looked it up. I'm just talking. I, so again, I have no evidence behind this. I'm just saying it feels wrong. But like, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, cruises in general are not so good for the environment, right? But it's just like, here the firework shows always happen in the sea. Really? I guess that makes sense in a lot of places, but my game is not doing so good right now. Anyway, it's just like, when I saw that, I was like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Oh my god. My game's ruined. I think I broke it. When did I last save? When did I last save? Oh, Dino, Dino, Madison, Cinnamon, Cheerful, Ghoulish Lady. Oh no. They're made of biodegradable materials. Uh, I'm gonna look into this more when I get off stream. Cause I want to know. I want to know. <sighs> Am I gonna have to play with the infants again? I think I might have to close it. Well, it was being weird on its own. Like the reason that I tried to load to manage worlds is because it was being weird. So should I just force close it and reopen it? Oh no, it's been a long time. I think I might just quit it. It's gone. Okay, let's try again. We'll see when I last saved. I don't think it was gonna work. Um, I don't think it was gonna work. <laughs> they are using biodegradable fireworks. I, I'm sure they are. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. It just feels weird. Let me load in and see when we last saved. It doesn't matter. It's just gonna be probably overnight or something. Oh, I'm going to join my saves together. So I posted a video today that was like the last episode of the Generations Let's Play. I posted last week the last episode of my Legacy Challenge. Um, and next week is going to be episode one of them being merged together is the plan. Where's... where? What, what happened to you? So I'll post that next week. Um, 6.31 is when I last saved and it's 647. Oh man. They're powered by compressed air instead of gunpowder and the shells are made of potatoes? Wait, really? Huh. Do you know what? That's that's a potato city. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. I've never, I didn't know they could do that. Potatoes. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's more biodegradable than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they did fireworks in their cruises either until, well, because you know how I watch these Disney vloggers? Yeah. Um... Molly from Mammoth Club went on a cruise. So.
so <laughs> um, that's how I learned. <laughs> I don't want to be gloomy. Please. No, wait a minute. Is it like the day before? <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I don't have the ability to redo what I just had to do. So I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I'm not, I, I won't, I won't redo their milestones right now. That can be a problem for like the next time Caleb plays this challenge. Cause I just don't, I just don't want to. Cheat it back? No, it's okay. I won't. I just, I'll, that's a problem for me the next time we play this. <laughs> I was gonna get off stream in like 10 minutes anyway. So we can just discuss our stream schedule and talk and stuff. So tomorrow we're gonna do some building. We talked about either building a random farm, like a big farm, or um, potentially doing the bar from university to get ready for my university let's play that I'm gonna be doing. Um, either would be fine, but I don't know. And then on Monday, I think I'm gonna play Not So Berry, and I guess maybe we'll do a shell challenge on Tuesday? Maybe some sort of puzzle challenge? Um, I'm seeing a lot of people say bar in the chat, so we might end up doing a bar, I guess. We could probably do it. Um, it'll be nice, because then I'll have done all of the main lots that we need to for my university stuff, so we'll be we'll be pretty well set up to play it, because I, I did the library, I did the dorm, and I did the, um, the Foxbury Commons, so should be all good there. Yeah, I'll be live on Monday. Um, we're gonna probably do Not So Berry on Monday, so that's the plan. That is the plan. Um, <laughs> But I'm getting kind of nervous about it. It should be fun to start playing, but I have a lot of setup to do, you know, with getting everybody together and moving the save over and stuff, but it'll be fun. Um, Dreamlight Valley again soon? I don't know, there's so many games I wanna play and literally not enough time. Like actually not enough time. Do you know what I'll tell you? Um, the week or two before the, the, um, the farm pack, I mean the, um, the horse pack comes out. I might end up, cause I'm gonna have early access to it, right? And so the days that I have early access to the horse pack, I'm gonna be probably recording like twice as much as I normally would. So I'm, I might be a little bit simmed out. So maybe I'll play a lot of not sims that week, you know? And then we'll, we'll play like only sims when the horse pack comes out. <laughs> So we could probably do it like that, you know, um, that might work out. There's just so many games that I want to play and like not enough days in the week to play them, you know, but 100 full challenge. Could you imagine how long that would take? That would be ages, 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 ages. Um, no, so that doesn't work. Guys, when you say to press like all F4 to exit and save, people are saying that because it'll pop up with this so that you can save. But when I got stuck in that loading screen, it was because I was trying to save and go to manage worlds and then it crashed. So it wouldn't let me like open this in the middle of the main menu to save and go to manage worlds because that's what I was already doing. Does that make sense? Um, so that's why, I, that's why I couldn't do that. It wouldn't have worked. So horse pack challenge, like the wolf pack challenge, but it's with horses. I'm gonna be, I'm so curious to see like how lucrative the horse riding skill will be. It'll be kind of fun to play, I think. Um, I look forward to it. <laughs> how do you stay committed to a legacy? Do you know what? For me, I really struggled to do it until things like the Not So Berry Challenge that I wrote, which has like sort of specific, very different rules for each generation, or playing on short lifespan. Playing on short lifespan really helps me to like keep playing with legacy because the Sims didn't live that long. So it kept my interest because it was like constantly something new was happen happening. And it was a little bit harder because on short lifespan, they, they progress less in their career sometimes and stuff like that. So um, to be honest, short lifespan helped me a lot with playing legacy challenge because playing 10 generations is a lot. So when I played with Sims for less time on short lifespan, it was easier for me to do that. And it felt very chaotic because everybody was dying constantly. <laughs> um, so that part was kind of fun for it as well. But anyway, Silent, Carol, Rhiannon, Anna, thank you for the subs. Um, 
Is streaming my favorite thing? I saw, did you ask that earlier? Do, what do you mean in like, in comparison to? Like favorite thing ever? Favorite thing like, oh, like do I like YouTube or streaming better? Cause I get asked that a lot. I don't really have an answer to that question that is YouTube or streaming better because I like them both for different reasons. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. I do like streaming though. It's fun to stream because we get to like hang out live. Um, there's something like kind of special about the real time interaction, especially when you're playing games. Cause you know, when like something really chaotic happens and, and I'm like, whoa, hold on. Did you just see that? Like, <laughs> hold on. And then we all get to be like, what? Together at once. There's something kind of cool about that because usually when you're playing games alone, you're alone, you can be like, oh my God, what was that? But it's, it's just, it's different when like people all see it together, you know? There's something kind of special about experiencing these like chaotic things all at once. Like when my sim in this got struck by lightning twice and then died, I've literally never had that happen before. Never once has that happened before. So when that happened and it was live, it was like, I don't know, it's an experience to do it together and have that happen together. Hi Snappy, are you back? We were talking about you. Did you hear us saying how you're scared of fireworks and decided to come say hi? Yeah? Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the backyards on a foundation, Elmay. I did that because when the toddlers come out here, they don't have to climb up and down stairs. They're just a little bit faster that way. So I have most of the backyard on a foundation. And then um, we have like a shed with school projects in it in the back. I should buy some more of those. Um, oh, you yawned right in my face. Whoa, chill. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. It makes it a little bit easier for them. Um, Snappy's here because usually little Miss Snappy gets fed at 7 p.m. Well, usually like 7.30 is when she gets her dinner, but little Miss has come here. She said, you're supposed to get off stream soon. That's why she comes here at the end of my stream. She knows. She knows. She's here like every night when I'm getting off stream. And then when I like turn off my lights, she's going to start trying to get me to follow her downstairs. She does this thing where she like runs down one step, looks back at me like, are you coming? Down another step, are you coming? <sighs> so, <laughs> can I post this house as a speed build on YouTube? Do you know what? I don't have footage of building it because I built this house like over the course. I mean, I mean, even look at this, it's not done. There's some weird empty spots, but I built this house over the course of like multiple streams, like slowly adding to it as I got more and more money. So I don't really have, um, I don't really have footage that I could post on YouTube of me building it to make us be built out of it. So your elderly cat used to order you to bed each night. She does that. So basically in my bedroom at home, well, I'm at my home, but in my bedroom, picture this, right? This is like my bedroom. Okay. And then there's like closet, hallway, bathroom. Okay. And this is all kind of open, right? And then the, the door into the room is like right here. Okay. So, from my bed, it's kind of like, I mean, the scale's off, right? But anyway, bed's kind of like that. And then I've got like my sink over here, okay? So when I'm here, I'm standing here brushing my teeth at night. She will sit on the end of my bed and you can see how it's wide open, right? So she can see, well, there's a door here, but I usually just leave it open. So anyway, it's open. She can see me in there brushing my teeth and she sits here and screams and she's like, hello. It's bedtime. So I'm just standing here brushing my teeth and she's sitting on the end of the bed just yelling at me. Like, come on, it's bedtime. It's bedtime every night, every night. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, she sits right there and looks at me like, are you coming yet? Are you coming yet? And I'm trying to brush my teeth, like, hold on. I will. You know, Christine, she, um, she doesn't sleep in my bed the whole night she usually puts me to bed. So she'll like lay with me on my chest or like in my arm kind of until I fall asleep or until I put my phone down. Um, and then she leaves. And I think she usually plays with her toys a little bit and then she comes to bed. So sometimes she'll like go out and then come back. She won't spend the whole night in the bed, um, but she always puts me to bed. And then she's there as soon as my alarm goes off in the morning, she's there, she's ready every time she hears it and she's like, okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but she does put me to bed every night. So she's funny. 
Very, oh, I have 18 of these? Oh my goodness. I'll sell those, thank you very much. Anyway, but she doesn't really sleep through the night like that, so. Um, she's like your mom, that's adorable. I know, she's like treating me like a child, telling me it's bedtime and stuff. <laughs> Your one cat loves on you when your alarm goes off and the other one begs for food. That's funny because for me, when she's begging for food, she loves on me. Like this right now, this is begging for food. Like the way she's sitting here, like putting her face into mine and trying to get pets. This is her being like, are we going to go downstairs yet? This is begging. She's begging right now. <laughs> she wants it so bad. <laughs> she's trying to get me to go downstairs so bad. <laughs> Anyway, she's funny like that. But <laughs> anyway, Snappy, we'll go downstairs in a second. I'll end the stream. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you, Bessie. I got you. <sighs> my little angel baby. How did I name her? I didn't. So mom, Snap is 15, right? We got her when I was nine. And my parents used to name all of our pets after fish which personally I think is stupid. So her name is actually Snapper, like the kind of fish, which again, I think is kind of stupid, but whatever, no offense to my parents. Um, but I think Snap is quite cute. So her name is Snap. She's a little fishy. That's a stupid name. Whoa, only I can say that. You can't say that. Only I can say that. <laughs> no, so that's, yeah, that's her, technically her name, but I don't like it, so. <laughs> her name is Snap. I didn't name her. My parents did. I was nine. I wasn't involved in this. <laughs> anyway, she's just a little, don't bully her. That's so mean. Anyway, she's just a little snappy cat. So anyway, I'll probably go find someone to raid now. Hey, Janelle and Em and, and, uh, and Nix and Silent, thank you for the subs. Little Worm. I also call her Worm a lot. Her name is Wormy, stuff like that. Um, your cat's name is Stinker? Oh, I like that. That's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to go find someone who is live. We'll be here tomorrow at this time doing some building. If you'd like to come by and hang out with us, um, I shall see you then. But for now, I think I might go and raid, maybe, maybe, maybe we could go say hi to, oh, how about this? Um, my friend Kipsy is live, I think doing some building in The Sims on one of my favorite lots. Do you know that lot in Strangerville where the trailer is? I love this lot. I think it's so cool and so detailed. Um, I think Kipsy's gonna be building there, so I kind of want to go see what we end up making. Should we go over to Kipsy's stream? Oh. Kipsy is now not in the chair. Oh, we're back. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I, as soon as I say I'm gonna raid, <laughs> we just get up. Anyway, let me go raid Kipsy. I will be live tomorrow. We'll play some Sims tomorrow again. Um, but let's go say hi to Kipsy while I'm gone. Uh, have a great rest of your night, everybody. Thank you for sitting with me. I love the Sims. I'm, I think that we've made some pretty good progress on our baby challenge as well. I know we joke about hating it, but 35 is not so bad. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're, we've kind of gotten to a point where we can have the babies quite quickly, I think, as well, which is pretty good. Um, so things are going well for us, but anyway. Alice, happy birthday! Thank you for the resub! And Chronically, too. Thank you so much. All right, all right. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I shall see you all tomorrow, okay? Go say hi to Kipsy for me. All right, bye! Snappy, say bye. Say bye. Turn, look at, say bye. Say bye. No? Okay. <laughs> bye. Where's my end stream button? I can't see it because my water's in front of it. Bye.